You sure you're at the right party? This is a celebration for the Saints, is it not? Business with Marshall is less lucrative than it used to be. I was hoping your bosses would be interested in a new partnership. They're in there. I'd knock if I were you. Hello? It's Antonio Espina. <clears throat> Look, I, I know that we don't have the best history, but I was thinking, hoping, really, that we could work something out. Antonio, glad you came to your senses. Hey, I'm kind of having a party right now, but we'll talk business later. We got a party going on, so I'm gonna keep this one short and sweet. Fuck the Panteros, fuck the Idols, fuck Marshall. The Saints are here to stay, baby! So, if you know how to shoot a gun, or if you're broke and want to learn how, swing by the church. We'll be waiting for you. Hello, and welcome to Marshall Defense Industries. We know it wasn't easy getting here. Your journey began with one of the most unforgiving job interviews we could devise. But you did more than just survive a few live fire exercises. You excelled, and in doing so, proved that you were Marshall material. But don't take my word for it. Hear it from the man himself. Hello, I'm Atticus Marshall and I wanted to personally welcome you to the Marshall family. Here at MDI, we don't just make a profit. We make the world a better place. So how do we do that? With a little TLC. Technologically advanced weapons, loose morals, and a culture of conflict. Now let's take a step through each of those letters. Why are you watching that now? 
It's the orientation video. I know what it is. Why are you watching it now? Well, I mean, we're about to be shot at, so I figured it couldn't hurt to brush up on our health care package. If you weren't paying attention to the briefing, I don't think you'll live long enough for your copay to matter. So I should be reviewing the life insurance policy. You know, our job interview has a 5% mortality rate. Statistically, the odds were low that you would die before we hired you, but I allowed myself to be an optimist. Your parents should have treated you better. Yours should have treated you worse. All right, ladies and gentlemen, contrary to your colleague's demeanor, this is no laughing matter. The Nawali already took out one team that was sent to bring him in, and I want as many of us going home as possible. So stick to the plan, work together, and let's grab that son of a bitch and send him to the frontier. Let's get paid. Alpha team, go. First day on the job. Don't fuck up. Newbie, catch up. Right. Let's kick some holy shit. Turrets, take cover. That was cl- uh. Uh. Jesus Christ, it's my first fucking day. Shit. Anybody left? Me. Thank you. We have to rendezvous with Bravo people. We're dead. Keep pushing forward. I'll meet you there. Copy that. Welcome to the Daily Grind. Uh. Protect the Wally! <laughs> Oh. Now keep pushing forward. Getting a little hot out here. Oh. Marshal unit, prepare for airstrike. <laughs> ah. Shit. That helps. Hey, you! We got a fire! Fuck. Better hustle, newbie. Bravo team is ready to move in. Ain't exactly taking a coffee break here. Marshal scum! Oh, fight me. Newbie, you still alive? You sound like you lost the pool. Fall in. We'll use this APC for cover. Rolling shield? Nice. Nah, I'm delighted you approve. Bailey, make a hole. Roger that. Now let's go. Through the breach. Go, go, go. <laughs> Keep it up, team. Let them have it. Yeah, y'all fucked with the wrong multinational private military corporation. <laughs> Hey, this may be a weird time to ask, but do we get hazard pay? You get a performance bonus for outstanding work, if you survive to collect it. Got it. Just trying to understand the pay structure. Good with these. Just shut up and shoot. Ah. Can you hear me? Anybody? Shit. You should 
We're all dead, but there's no signal. I reckon I should push on and find the Nawali myself. The things we do for Ram. I don't have to wear a suit. How did Marshal get this far? Oh, finally. End of the time. When? Hello, do you read me? No, you're still alive? Yeah, I hear that a lot. Rendezvous with the rest of us and we can box him in. In a minute. Clear out some goons first. I gave you an order. It's on my way. Besides, we don't want him coming up behind us later. Fine. But next time I give an order, the only words I want to hear are yes and ma'am. Got that? Uh, yes ma'am. Go for cover! Stop him in the gate! <sighs> <sighs> Good to make an honest living. Uh. Guess you assholes are just working stiffs too, huh? Performance bonus. C4 should take out that barricade. Ha! Couldn't do that at my last job. Doobie, over here! Glad you could join us. Let's move. We gotta keep the Nawali hold up until Charlie team arrives. Newbie, once we hit the saloon, you flank left while the rest of us hold the center. Flank? But I can... Yes, ma'am. Saloon's right around this bend. Get ready and remember the plan. All right, team. Let's take it. I'm flanking left, as ordered. Where's Charlie team? We're being overwhelmed! Hold fast! We go down, we go down fighting. Come on. It's my first fucking day. Black soldiers, Charlie team is here. Sit back and let us wrap this up. Nice timing, gang. Perimeter secure. Yeah, that's probably because of my flanking. Uh-huh. Now get in there and flush that son of a bitch out. What does it take for a man to be able to enjoy a quiet drink these days? Mr. Nawali! You're coming with me. You really think you have what it takes to bring me in? 
I mean, <laughs> yeah. Um. Hey, where you fucking going? I said you're coming with me. Perhaps I don't respect your authority. Then respect this. You said one foot on those stairs. <laughs> Holy shit. No, you goddamn don't. Give it up, Noali. There's nowhere to hide. You're surrounded! Make it easy on yourself. What the? I can't find him. Never mind. Get back here and recruit. We've got the bastard bottled up with nowhere. We know he's in the saloon. He can't stay in there forever. What the fuck? Thanks for the ride. I'll see you around. We need air support now. Stand down. We don't got time for hero bullshit. Don't worry. I got this. When? We got a problem. Hang on, the cavalry's coming. Oh shit! <laughs> Come out with your hands up. <laughs> Not today. Oh, fuck. Kill him! Had enough? When? Hurry! I can barely get a beat on these guys. Oh, if only someone had told you to stand the fuck down. Hold this thing still so I can kill your guys! Brains. Goddamn right I do. You're too predictable. Am I? Uh, 
I caught him! Well, you didn't die. All in all, not a bad start. Jesus Christ! You're not gonna last. Your pep dogs need some work. This is for you. Performance bonus. Is this a joke? You, uh, you ribbing the rookie? What were you expecting? There's supposed to be a bonus based on exceptional performance. That's right. And if you had performed exceptionally, you would have seen a bonus. Oh, come on. Can you really look me in the eyes and say I didn't do well? I can look you in the eyes and say you didn't do what you were told. I saw a better way and I took it. And if you were in charge, it would have been an inspired decision. But you're not. I am. This is a warning. Fall in line or find a new job. Balls and a pizzle stick between them. <sighs> Horse balls. Big, giant, sweaty horse balls. Big, giant, sweaty, dangling horse testy just swinging in the goddamn breeze, knocking back and forth like a pair of motherfucking clappers in a giant horse flesh crotch bell. All in line. Nuts. You have three new messages. Hey, uh, it's Kev. I'm baking up a slamming congratulatory brunch for when you get home to celebrate your first day on the job. It's gonna be dope. Oh, and it's official. I'm gonna be spinning at that idols party I told you about, so... Hope you can come. TTYL. Hey there, it's Nina. So excited about your new gig. I thought you'd want to know. I, I heard back from the museum. Uh, they, they went with someone else for the junior art curator job, so... Looks like I'm still stuck with Los Panteros. Anyway, glad one of us had a good day at least. See you soon. Hey, it's Eli. Congrats on your first day as part of the workforce. Speaking of which, um, when you asked to borrow my copy of Be Your Own Boss, I assumed it was because you wanted to read it, not to level out the coffee table. So let's talk about that when you get back. Can't wait to hear about all the HR forms I'm sure you had to sign.
Oh, everything smells amazing, Kev. You know what would make it smell even better? Hey, man, if you want a $300 waffle maker, you can buy it with the exposure the idols pay you in. Don't expect us to chip in. I've told you before, the idols are trying to build a post-capitalist society where money is not a concept. Yeah? Then why don't you go run off and join the commune? I'm into showering. Are you going to help me get the waffle maker or not? As an investor, I don't like wasting money. You're wearing a fucking bow tie. <sighs> okay, I will throw in 20 bucks for a waffle maker. Nina? Um, good for 10? Who helped you move your forged paintings last month? Fine, 15. What sort of waffle maker can I get for 35 bucks? Uh, presumably one that makes fucking waffles. Hey! <laughs> hey, the wage slave is back. How was your first day? Were the other mercenaries nice to you? You know, as far as hired killers go, I'd give them a seven. You look like you could use a mugmosa. Thanks, Eli. Seriously, how was the job? Eh, it's the murder business. Fundamentals don't change, just the uniform. I can tell you love it. <laughs> okay. I don't have to love it. I have to pay my student loans. Poof. <laughs> I'm in. So I'm guessing that means the pay's good. Yeah, it's supposed to be. Got stiffed on my bonus today. Dude, what the fuck? I played a little fast and loose on the job, and, uh, well, my CEO wasn't a fan. You gotta be kidding me. Swear to God, this lady walked right off the set of an 80s action movie. I was half expecting her to call me Rook and threaten to take my badge. Are we gonna make rent? We'll make rent. We just gotta be a little more creative. Last time we got creative, I got stabbed three times. Hey, it would have been four times if Nina and I hadn't shown up. It would have been zero times if you were on time. This is true. Look, this is really not a big deal. We just knock off a payday loan place. No one gives a shit if people rob those bastards. You have a job now. You could actually just take the loan. Eli, I don't do business with morally bankrupt companies. You work for Marshall. Brunch is a time for friends and mimosas, not debates on morality. All right, all right. Man, this is really fucking good, Kev. Thanks. I was worried I added too much pepper. Mm-mm. Mm. No, seriously, this is perfect. The only way this could be better is if you put on a fucking shirt. Dinner and a show, baby. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>Okay, brunch is done, dishes are clean. Let's go rob a payday loan place. And you know how we should celebrate afterwards. Karaoke! Yes! So, Nina, are we taking your project car? Fuck no, I'm not risking my baby over rent. We're boosting cars from down the street. Ooh, can we take a hybrid? Eli, I love that you're worried about fuel efficiency, but I reckon acceleration is gonna matter more. Your carbon footprint always matters. Just take that yellow one. Kev, you case the place. What are we looking at? Woodguard out front and the owner at the till. He's a real scuzzbag. I want some king of dog. So, you know, fuck that guy. What's there? Let's get psyched. But only you uh, can decide how you Not react this to crap adversity. again. Only hey, you can the choose rule? to adapt Don't to the Don't yuck someone's young. Life throws your way. You have more agency and power than the world wants you to know. But to realize that power, there's something you need to do. You need to be your own boss. Be your own boss. That's right. Be your own boss. One of these days, I'm gonna get you to listen to music in the car. Roger McGillicuddy speaks the music of my soul. You are a different kind of cat, Eli. What can I say? The world is full of uninteresting people, and I'm not gonna be one of them. You got one of those for me? You really want one after last time? I am not the first person to accidentally shoot a friend by dropping a loaded... Yeah, okay, I don't need a gun. Good call. Showtime. So I made them watch while I broke their dad's... Ah, oh, shit. Walk away, or the phrase dead-end job gets literal. <gasps> I, I don't have much... We don't want your money, just his. Get out of here. You done fucked up. I've been getting that a lot lately. Where's the safe? If you're lucky, the cops will get to you before my people. <laughs> nice left. 
Been practicing. I can tell. Safe's back here. This guy had his password be a bunch of fives. Pick it up, Eli. I'm just saying, he could have at least made his work for it. Same plan as last time. Eli, Kev, pretend traffic laws matter and get the money home. Nina and I will split up and get the cops the runaround. Cool, let me get the McGillian. No! Try to keep up this time. Yeah, yeah. See you at the switch. Time to beat it before the cops show up. Life is full of adversity and challenges. But oh, fuck no. I'm monitoring the police scanner. They're just responding to the call. Cops are now en route to the payday place. Sounds like they're out in force. Crap. Hell of a time for a train. I got cops on my ass. Nina, don't wait for me. I gotta lose these guys. Try sideswiping them. It always works for me. Just let them get alongside you. And then bam, send them into a ditch. Not going fast enough to do any damage. You'll do more damage the faster you go. The best hit comes from full side-to-side -side contact. Gotta speed up. You high or something? Remember to keep your speed up. Yee -haw! Ha! That took care of him. How's everyone else? Eli and I made it home with the money. You ready for karaoke? Start warming up those voices. Nina, where you at? Just changed cars and headed home. Good. Headed to my switch car now. It was safe and sound at the junkyard a minute ago. That's pretty deep in Pantero's territory. Did you tell your gang you did that? Are you kidding me? If Sergio knew we were running a job on his turf, he would have taken a 90% cut. 90%? Good God. The man's either a monster or a capitalist genius. What the fuck did you assholes do to my getaway car? Ain't your car if it's on our turf. Now you're gonna pay for parking. Shit, take all of us. Bye bye, Bertie. I ain't got time for this shit today. Cocktail time! No one puts a job here without a food yourself. Things I do to pay my rent. I needed that fucking car. Oh, you wanna die for that piss-ant car! Uh, uh, Should've stayed home with mama. Problem. Los Panteros scrapped my switch car. What? Bigger problem. The police picked up that firefight at the junkyard. They're heading your way. Grab a bike and head off-road. I'll pick you up in the desert. Damn. Sounds like no karaoke tonight. Every fucking time, man. I'm on my way. There's a trail that goes between the mesas. I'll meet you on the other side. Roger that. Do I want to know what happened to the Panteros who stripped your car? Sorry, Nina. Self-defense. Fuck, I didn't want that to happen. Let's hope Sergio never finds out it was us. Freeing 
clear yet? Not at all. I've got cops up the ass. I'll pick you up on the other side of the bridge. Shit. Freeze! Down on the ground! You called for a ride? You said you didn't want to risk your car. I said I didn't want to risk it for rent. I'd risk anything for you, dummies. So, is this how it's gonna be every time we have to pay rent? I thought that went great. Yeah, okay. Maybe I can go back to running my old side hustles for extra cash? Don't worry. We'll figure it out. This town is full of opportunities, if you know where to look. Hey, glad you made it home safe. We have to get better at this rent thing or we'll never get to do karaoke again. Also, we'll get evicted. Nina said you might go back to some of your old side hustles. I have some friends who might need work done in your area of expertise. When you say friends, do you mean friends friends or special friends? All my friends are special. I'll put their info on your map. I think you'll really like them. I like them fine as long as their money's good. Thanks, Jeff. I swear. I want nothing to do with lost Pantera. I lose faith in humanity. You're the one Kev sent, right? Yeah. What's a gig? Ever hear of Atcha? The review app? That's the one. I need you to leave some bad reviews. I don't know what Kev told you, but I don't come cheap. Anyone can leave a shitty review. It's not the review I'm paying you for. It's what comes after. Oh? The targets on my list have some heavy hitters in their corner. You leave anything lower than five stars, they'll come out swinging. The lower the review, the harder they hit. Now we're talking. Count me in. Whoa, what's wrong? 
wrong with you? where it hurts. Get ready for the idols. It'll get better. Oh! And that's the game. what I like to see. You've got idols headed your way. That's the game.
I've assigned you a driver for your next job. Meet us at the rendezvous. I'll be right there. Walk away when you can. Where is everyone? I didn't need everyone. Just you. Because I'm the only one who could get it done. Sure, let's go with that. Sergio, huh? You're familiar with Panteros. I mean, my roommate's one of them, so yeah. Oh, don't give me that look. Rent's expensive. Is this gonna be a problem? I mean, for the roommate code, I'm gonna have to fold her laundry for two weeks, but beyond that, I'm golden. What are they moving? Antiquities, mostly. The Nawali was waiting to sync up with them before he was captured. You mean before we captured him? I'm pretty sure you were about to die when I came along and saved your ass. And yet, if I hadn't stalled him, he would have got away. So, you're welcome. If you want it to look like an accident or a statement. What? Well, I'm assuming you want me to make the convoy disappear. No, I want you to follow it. So I can kill everyone and retrieve the stolen goods. So we know where they're going. Sure, and then I kill everyone and retrieve the stolen goods. No. Then you will report back to me, I will arrive with the team, and you will go home and hit the showers before you have a chance to fuck it up. You think I can't do this? I think you like getting a paycheck. Follow the convoy. Don't fuck it up. Hey there. My name's JR. We about to see some action? Nope. Orders are to follow the convoy, observe its activity, and report back. Seriously? The convoy's right there. You know, I heard about you. I'm a little bit of a maverick myself. Two crazy badasses like us, we're not gonna mix it up? No. Buddies are counting on me to get my performance bonus. I can't afford to screw it up. You don't engage, just observe and report. Looks like them motorcycles are falling back. Probably just drop something? Time for another you gonna just let them shoot at us? The man was very clear on not engaging. If we don't do something, all we're gonna observe and report is getting dead. Fine. Just this once. <laughs> That's how I like to ride. Dead as a doornail. Okay, back in the set. Here on out, serve and report. Oh, fuck. They got a turret. Can't take this kind of fire forever. Our orders are to follow us. No can do. Unless you want to take that thing out. God damn it. Getting closer. Wait, what are you doing? Taking out the turret. From the roof? No, from the truck. Get me closer. You're out of your goddamn mind. I thought you said you were a maverick. A little bit. I said a little bit. Uh. <laughs> This is in the spirit of our orders. Ah, Down ah, for the camp. 
Heads up, you got more incoming. Oh, come on, I was almost there. As long as I'm here. Louis, why am I seeing gunfire at the back of that convoy? When? Well, there was motorcycles and then a turret, and one thing led to another. Well, you don't sound mad. Did you honestly think I would send one car after a convoy that size? You're just a distraction. We got a drone following these motherfuckers. Way, you used me as bait. That's the job you were born for. Mission accomplished. Now finish what you're doing and get out of here. They are. Pick me up. I can't get close. That truck's on fire. Fuck, the car's on fire. Oh, this one's burning, too. I thought I ordered you to retreat. Honest to God, I am trying. Well, as distractions go, you're exceeding expectations. Great. Can you put that in my performance review? Fellas, compensating for something? Don't count him out. It'll take more than a car wreck to kill that some bitch. Okay, time to finally get the fuck out of what is that? Sandstorm. We're going in. Come in, newbie. When? We hear you. We're falling back. Negative. The drone is down. I need. Need eyes on that convoy. I'm giving you field command. Fuck, really? Do what you gotta do. Follow the lead truck until it stops. Then radio. JR, let's get him. The kid gloves are off. Kid gloves are on? Time to reload! Come on. Do it for the rim. That's a punch! See the main convoy ahead. Uh, we got a problem here. Be more specific. Sand's clogging up my intake. We're losing speed. Great. Just get me into leapfrog range and fall back. That's suicide. I got us this far, didn't I? I don't want to be a maverick no more. Turrets! 
Connected by a hitch. Drop me to that flatbed or I will shoot you with fucking face. Can't hide forever. Still following, just from very close. Exceeding expectations. Knocking them down. When said to do what I need. You won't leave this desert alive! in my mouth. Hey, Gwen. I followed the convoy. It, uh... It stopped. You did good. Holy shit, a compliment. Yeah, yeah. Stay here. Over here. Now! Gwen says you were responsible for retrieving the Hummingbird Codex. If that was something in the truck, then yes. Impressive work. I wouldn't have been able to do it without JR, sir. Team player. I like that. There's someone I'd like you to meet. This is Dr. Antonio Espina. He's the chief curator for the Museum of Santo Aliso. It's nice to meet you, sir. The retrieval of these relics is no small feat. The museum is in Marshall's debt. Just do him a job, sir. Antonio's museum has a contract with Marshall, and he requested you to be in charge of security. What? Gwen's filled me in on your eccentricities, but the results speak for themselves. Sir, it's my second day. Sounds like someone wants to talk themselves out of a promotion. No, no, I want the job. I'm just surprised. Things change fast here at Marshall. So, can Antonio and I count on you or not? Yes, sir.
it's me, JR, from Marshall. I got a favor to ask if you got a minute. Might be a little something in it for you, too. Yeah, I ain't doing much else. Be there in a jiff. Hey, JR, what's up? Well, after that little clusterfuck we had with the Panteros, you know, when my life was flashing before my eyes, I started thinking about early retirement. Seems fair. Took my bonus and savings and bought this empty lot. I'm fixing to open my own garage. Trouble is, a pack of those idols anarchists made off with my shipment of car parts. Without it, my garage is gonna fail before it even opens. And you want me to get the shipment back? After our last run, I figure this should be easy. That'd make it worth your while. Say, a percentage of the garage? A percentage? I'm in. Hey, yo. Kev, quick question. The idols robbed this fella I know. Any idea where they'd take his stuff? Probably to the camp. This friend of yours some rich bigwig? Nope. Just a regular Joe trying to make ends meet. That doesn't sound right. The idols are about taking down the corrupt system, not the little guy. Yeah, and they never get overzealous? Well, just be careful, okay? The idols are like a family to me. I promise I'll be nice to them. That must be the camp. Get him! The Collective really know how to throw a party. Who the hell are you? I'm, uh, looking to join? You? Idols? A new recruit? Well, come on in. Go find Cheryl, with a snake mask. She'll hook you up. Hi, Cheryl. I'm thinking about joining the Idols. Yeah! Ready to take down the establishment? Sure. By, like, stealing car parts and shit? Or by punching everybody in the neck till they choke! <laughs> but hey, you do you. The Idols are a big tent. You like heists? Talk to Martin. He's headbanging around somewhere. Come get your idol colors. You, Martin? Heard you were a heist man. Fuck yeah! I made this botnet that hacks Wi-Fi-enabled refrigerators. Come summer, there won't be a working ice dispenser in town. Sounds great for the little guy. But do you steal real things? 
Like car parts. What even is real in a late stage capitalist digital economy? Boom, mind blown. But if you like meat space theft, talk to Timmy O. He's around somewhere working on his bike. Timmy O, I heard you bring in big hauls. Anything that ain't nailed down. Just boosted a shipment of car parts off some cog in the big auto machine. Hogwild, where would you even keep something like that? Warehouse and back, with the other refuse of materialism. Told Kev I'd try to play nice. Stop! What are you doing here? I heard you have some car parts I was hoping to, uh, take back. Fuck off! The thing is, they belong to one of the little guys you say you fight for, so... There are no little guys. Just idols and the tools of the system. Ugh. Roommate code, I'm in for a lot of longer. Pawn of the status quo! Ugh. 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 I'm taking those parts! I tried, Kev. Ah! Have to tether that container and drag it back to JR. I surprised myself. You actually did it. Now I can finally build my garage. I always deliver on a job. Hang on. Kev, what's up? You said you'd be nice to them. 
I was. They were shitheads. Well, now they want you dead, and they're headed your way. Ah, shit. Thanks for the heads up. JR, we got idols coming. Those some bitches are back. Time to beat some asses. Ugh. Later, Gator. We do this thing. This is payback. Take this flat tracker. <laughs> Fucking lie, Knocking him down. Ah! Fuck with the wrong man. Ah! Huh? Ah! Ah! Glad that's over. Thanks for saving my business. No problem. Thanks for the percentage. Now all I need to do is build the garage. How's that gonna work? Just you watch. Here it is. The world premiere grand opening at Jim Rob's garage. The service center has all the tools you need to customize your ride. And if you see a car out there with something you like, bring it on in. Now that we're in business, let's talk shop. Hey, JR, if we're short on parts, why don't we just steal them? We could run a little chop shop here. Now that would save us a pretty penny. I need some parts for a hammerhead. How about you get me one of those? about to start for the Hummingbird Codex unveiling. I want your security team in place. It's your night to shine. Good. 
All right, y'all. Tonight's a big night, so nobody fuck it up. You, uh, Johnson, is the codex ready for its entrance? Roger that. It's in position, and the display case hover tech is green. Good. I love this tech. Thank you for coming here this evening. I'm gonna check in with the boss. Antonio's speech should be wrapping up. Join us for this very special... Bravo, team. How's it going? Uh, the fine. The codex holds a very dear place. I saw that. Just kidding. Relax. I was a young intern at and the of National course, Museum. thanks to each and every one of you, Gang of your donations people. tonight will benefit the international effort to end illegal traffic of stolen antiquities. Mr. Marshall, how's your evening, sir? Fine, fine. But I don't see our guest of honor. Where's my hummingbird codex? They'll be escorting it in any time now. That's what I like to hear. Have you met Myra Starr? She's on the Marshall Board of Directors. How do you do, ma'am? Quite well. So, you're Atticus's new hotshot. That's what it says on my ID badge. Oh, talented and confident. Reminds me of a younger me. Now, what say we celebrate? Go get yourself a drink. Yes, sir. Smile. The press is here in force. What do you think you're doing? You don't drink on duty. I'm following orders. Boss man told me to celebrate. <laughs> of course he did. You want a word of advice? Watch your step around Atticus. He only sees results. Ain't a problem. That's what I give him. Uh-huh. Hey, what happened to not drinking on duty? I'm not on duty. Hey, Nina. I can't talk. I'm working security. That's why I'm calling. Los Panteros are about to try to take the Codex back. What? Are you sure? Yes, I'm driving getaway. I'd have called sooner, but I wasn't alone. Fuck. When? Nina, get off your phone. We're going in. Shit. Beat him down! What the hell are Los Panteros doing here? I've got it under control. You had that drink now? Maybe. This is Sergio. Patero. Bring me the code. Everyone else, stay the fuck out of my way. Ah, shit balls. We got a security breach. Panteros are in the Paleolithic exhibit. Panteros on level three. Increase the guard on the codex. I can hit him down. Where is my head of security? Right here, Mr. Marshall. Get this under control. It's an embarrassment to the company. Yes, sir. Secure the codex. I'll get Atticus out of here. Hey, I'm in charge here. You get Atticus. Shortcut through the Cretaceous exhibit. Someone get eyes on the Codex. You nuts! That place is full of Panteros! It's faster. I can handle them. Idols, too? Thanks for the heads up, Ken. What happened to the roommate? Oh. Uh. 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 What fine monument to grieve you've built. The oppressors drink and laugh, while the enslaved clean up their table scraps. Your so-called society is a failed experiment. 
It's time to put it to an end. Time to wash it away. Time to make some noise. Get ready for a whole new world. With no pharaohs, no gods, no idols, but us. That is a doornail. Damn it, the idols are here too! There's too many of them! We lost Perkins! We need backup! The idols are everywhere! Jesus Christ, these psychos keep coming! Oh! I'm so good I surprised myself! I'm almost to the codex. Anyone got eyes on it? The idols are in the codex room. I'm trying to... Ah! 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 Down for the camp. Get the fuck away from there! Codex. I've secured Atticus. I need to find the rest of the board. I'll get the Codex to the safe room. How the hell do I move it? Your Marshal ID triggers the sensor. It'll move on its own as long as you stay close. Got it. Access granted. Emergency transport initiated. Hover systems re-engaging. <laughs> Waiting for escort. Hover systems re-engaging. to the safe room. I need backup. This thing's getting hinky. What the fuck? Blow it! Waiting for S. Codex is still up there. Fucking Hovertech. Somebody report. I got separated from the Codex. Anyone have eyes on it? Negative. I got nothing. It's just chaos here. Damn it. The door's blocked. Need something to bust through that gate. Room's a dead end. Gunpowder? Replica. Damn it. Cool cannon.
Busted RPG. No fixing that. Rocket. Need something to fire it with. I have an idea. yet. Sergio got away. I got most of the board locked down, but I can't find my restore. Copy. I'll keep an eye out for it. a fucking minigun. Someone help me. Star, hang on, I'll cover you. Oh god, it's you. Better find cover. I'll hold him off. I don't care how ancient this shit is, it won't hide you from me. Come out, Miss Star. It's safe. Thank you. Thank you so much. You are really good at this. It's not my first time shooting up a place with a minigun, ma'am. Just the first time people are happy I did it. How the fuck did this happen? Shit. What's going on, sir? You. Sir, I know I made a little mess protecting the museum, but we have to look at the big picture. The threat's been neutralized, Miss Star is safe, and, as you can see, the Codex is secure. A mess? Yes, there is a goddamn mess! I don't... I don't understand. Well, you were wasting time with her. The idol stole the Codex and replaced it with a fake! Sir, I wasn't wasting time, I was saving... Do you think I give a shit if Myra Star lives or dies? Atticus. You are replaceable. You are replaceable. That was not. Sir, I can lead a team to retrieve the Codex. The hell you can. You're fired. 
What? You're done. If I see you on Marshall property again, I'll have you shot. We'll make this right, Antonio. I promise. Thank you. I am sorry. Hey, I just got word that the idols are planning on attacking the museum. Hey, it's Kev. I, uh, I made your breakfast if you want some. That's cool if you don't. Nina wasn't hungry either. Uh, I'm sorry about last night. I didn't hear about the museum until it was too late to warn you. Well, the Collective don't tell me shit. You should come to the idols party with Eli and I later. Open bar? No? Uh... Okay, uh, I'm gonna go. Just, uh... Just know that Eli and I are worried about you guys. Later. Uh... Welp, looks like we both got fucked over. Yeah. No work today? I'm leaving Sergio's group text on bread. Eh, fair. Los Panteros have been going downhill since he started leading. We used to be about family. Now it's all about him. Plus, he's zero for two this week, and that just makes him pissy. I don't hate eat my feelings. Come the fuck on. God damn it. Stupid refurbished appliances. Figures. Back to the cutting room, the premier auction experience for knife connoisseurs of all ages. Our first stop, Lung Piercer. A contemporary update on the classic Shiv, the Lung Piercer. Looks like we got a shopper in Santa Aliso that knows their stabbing implements. Let's bring out the next item. It's been a hell of a day here on the cutting room, but I've been saving the best for last. The Judas 3000. If Brutus had had one of these bad boys, he wouldn't have needed the Senate to help stab Caesar. How many knives did you end up buying? Not enough. Hey, Sergio just texted us. <laughs> he has to be pretty pissed. Yeah. Says he's planning on attacking the idols party. 
Man, I'd hate to be the idols right now. Everyone at that party's probably gonna get killed. Sucks to be Kevin Eli. Yeah. Oh shit! We gotta go! They're not coming, are they? They'll get over it, man. Don't worry about it. <sighs> They're totally pissed at me. They'll get over it. Give them time. You mind if I get a drink? You do you, man. Can I have a white wine spritzer? You okay? I, I I don't think so. Get in and drive fast. Where's the party? The resort. We gotta move. Try to get a hold of Eli. I'm gonna call Kev. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. He picking up? Nothing. Yo, this is you? Kevin. My no. phone's on silent. Fuck, I got so voice a message after Same I drop here. the beat. Wait for it. Kev, call me. I'm gonna call Sergio. Maybe I can put a stop to this. He'll never listen. It's worth a try. Well, no who decided to get back to me. Sergio, you gotta call this off. My friends are in there. I'm the friend you should be worried about. You are taking Los Panteros to war just because you think Marshall and the Idols embarrassed you. You're saying some shit you're gonna regret, Nina. Call it off or I quit. You ain't gonna quit. Try me. He's calling. Kev's calling. Put it on speaker. Kev, you all right? I'm fine, but Eli... They fucking shot me! You're doing great, Eli. Stay cool. Where are you guys? Eli's behind the bar. I'm keeping him covered. Nina and I are on our way. Keep Eli alive. Got it. Please don't hang up. Eli, listen to me. Nina and I are gonna kill every motherfucker standing between us and you, and that means we're gonna need both hands, okay? Okay. You're gonna be fine. I promise. Shit, the Panteros group chat is blowing up. They set up roadblocks on the bridges. We're gonna have to go through your crew, Nina. Los Panteros aren't my crew anymore. Eli and Kev are all that matters. The last thing I said to Eli was, I'll be late on rent. The last thing I said to Kevin was, uh, you ready? Let's get our boys back home. Ugh, Nina, she's turned on us. No, Los Panteros turned on me. Stayed home with mom. Eli, we're here. You shouldn't have gotten between me and my friends. Knocking them down. They're here. We're gonna get you out, but you'll have to walk. Oh. I'll try. Shit. Shit? Shit what? What now? Those Panteros should have left the party crashing to the experts. <laughs> but it looks like we missed one. 
Looks like you're gonna back the fuck off. No, 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 no! They're cool, they're with me. If they're with you, then you get to kill them. I guess this is my last idol's party. You don't need this fucking cult anyway, Kev. What she said. Let's finish what you started and get Eli out of here. Yes, please. None of you are getting out of here. Not in one piece. Ah! How did I not realize how yeah. sick fucks you are? Fuck these tools. Yeah. Ah! Ooh, no, they no. deserve it. Let's go. Oh man, we're in the shit now. We just pissed off the idols and Los Monteros. Yeah, big time. So let's not hang around till they come back. Agreed, let's move. And this time I'm driving. Oh, oh. Dead as a doornail. That truck. Better acceleration. Oh, what about the gas mileage? Fuck the gas mileage! Neil, just give me one second! Down for the count. for. Shit. The fiddles are coming after us. That's it. I've had enough for one day. Keep driving. I'm gonna teach these fuckers a lesson. You sure? You got them coming up fast. Well, I got an RPG and some shit to work out. Let's see how that goes for me. I don't want to die before I make my first million. You're not gonna die. I got you, buddy. Blood. Play Eli's audiobook. It always calms him down. Oh, not this again. Hey, I could use some positivity right now. Turn it up. You have more agency and power than the world wants you to Go me. Realize that. Love. You need to be your own boss. Stop. Ah! of your happiness, of your life. You don't make a million dollars an hour, no. You're still selling hours of your life away for 15 bucks a piece. So what do I say? 
paid to the person who wants to get paid what they deserve? Fuck, this thing That's corners like a right. boat. Be oh, your own every boss. turn makes it hurt now, worse. Life. Stay with us, Eli. Life. We're almost life out of this. Full of adversity and challenge. But if you want to learn... I gotta reload. Instead of getting punished for someone else's, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Panteros ain't letting up. I know how to lose them. Stay low. You deserve better. You deserve better. Dead as a door more there. more than a cog in a corporate machine. You are not defined. Hang on. Student death or your useless degree. If your life is stuck in neutral, there's only one. Uh, Tina? Not now. Damn, nice job. Never doubt me. Let's get Eli somewhere safe. A lot of times the truth. Why aren't we at the hospital? Because you don't have insurance. I don't really care. You would if you saw what they charged to fix a flesh wound. Kev, where's the hall closet? Yo, top Kev. shelf. Okay, this is gonna suck, buddy. Oh fuck! You're doing great. You're being very brave. Fuck you. Hey, keep talking to Kev like that, and you won't get a star on the star chart. <laughs> Ow! Oh, what are we gonna do? Finish sewing you up? Yeah, and then what? The idols and Panteros aren't exactly our number one fans right now. Isn't that obvious? We're starting a criminal empire. What? Your car was right, Eli. About everything. Yeah, what the fuck is happening? Guys, we're really good at what we do. So why are we doing it for other people and not ourselves? I mean, you know how to start a business. Kev knows how to get attention. I'm a walking murder party. And Nina... Nina's the best goddamn driver in the business. Who could touch us? Hell, we just took on two crews at once and walked away just fine. I was shot. And you're getting a sticker, so quit bitching. I'm in. Fuck yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Eli? Guys, this is a little crazy. What happened to there being a difference between surviving and thriving? Well, I survived being shot, and now I want to thrive without being shot again. Nina's down. Kev's down. Snickerdoodle is definitely down. Oh, do not bring her into this. Eli, this cat suffers no fools. <laughs> and neither should you. Oh. <laughs> is that a yes? Yeah, it's a yes. It's our time now. Let's get this shit started. Grated apples and waffle batter. Total game changer. Santo Ileso. A violent confrontation broke out between Los Panteros and the Idols anarchist group. At a resort, illegally occupied by the Idols for an... Never hurts to sharpen my reflexes. Is that a do needle point? But I know a prick when I see one. Hey, just a reminder, we're having our first company meeting in a bit. Don't be late. Company meeting? Nice euphemism. 
I'll be right there. I don't know, guys. What do you think? I feel like there's a lot we're missing. There is, but it's enough to go on for now. What about criminals? Don't we kind of need more than three if we want to call this thing an empire? There's four of us. Oh, are you planning on shooting anyone? After that party, I think I'll stick to metaphorical blood on my hands. Yeah, that's less useful when people try to kill us. Nina's right. We need more people. We'll look more legit if we have a home base. You saying we're not legit already? Oh, I love you, but I'm allergic. <clears throat> yeah, point taken. All right, let's brainstorm. What would our place need? I gotta be able to host some parties and have more than a fucking galley kitchen to work with. I want to be able to set up a proper garage to work in. I don't think Sergio's gonna be letting me near the forge anytime soon. That's good. What you got? I don't know, a ball pit? I'm joking. Kind of. I'm kind of joking. It needs to be defensible. We pissed off a lot of people, and let's not kid ourselves, they're gonna try to kill us. You're fun. Hey, man, just being real. For me, we need it to be cheap. We don't have a lot of cash, so we'll probably be looking at a fixer-upper. So, we need an open space for the interior, a decent plot of land to build a garage, it's gotta hold up in a firefight, and it's gotta be dirt cheap. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be a bitch fine. I got it! Holy shit, we are so good at this. There's an old church. Near Fort Cullen. The sanctuary is huge. I can turn the rectory into a garage. It's condemned, so it's cheap. And it's got a fucking graveyard, so we can stash the bodies. You fucking rock. What are we waiting for? Let's check this place out. Let's go. I'll drive. Where is this church? Up on third. Oh, that place. Guys, look at these pictures. The architectural details look amazing. Let me see. Nina, this place is in ruins. I said it was a fixer-upper. There's a fine line between fixer-upper and money pit. Relax. The listing says it's being restored by a developer, John Bland. John Bland? The real estate king of Santo Aliso? Is he the fella on all them billboards? Why does a guy that into self-promotion stick with a name like Bland? Bland is no Roger McGillicott. He does restore the place, and we can still get it for cheap. It might work out. Assuming the restorations preserve the original facade. You're not gonna worry about preservation when I put in my state-of-the-art kitchen, are you? We can discuss that later. A lot of heavy equipment for a renovation. Looks more like a demolition crew. He's gonna restore this place in the condos. Not if we do something about it. Yee Who wants to demo a demo crew? Yeah. 
just gonna move this for you. So much for that demolition crew. Attention! This property is protected by Marshall Defense Industries. Hurt the bulldozer and come out with your hands off! What the fuck are these Marshall rent cops doing here? Well, plan must contract with them for security. Oh, fuck. Y'all hang tight. I'll take care of them. Back away oh. from the tree. Should have stayed home with mom. These Gwen's not here. I see Bland hired the second best. Ah! Uh. Oh, Gator. Stand down, you vandals. Last of them. Marshall's down, but they'll keep kicking long as Bland owns a deed to the property. Then let's get him to sell. After this? Not likely. It'll shake him down and make him hand it over. The idols used to do stuff like that all the time. Good call. Kev, you're with me. Where's Bland even at? Let's ring up the number on all them billboards and find out. Bland here. One sec. Mr. Mayor, been an honor talking to you. Sounds like he's at City Hall. All right, who's this? Mr. Bland. I'm calling to take that old mission church off of your hands. Huh? Wait, are you the asshole who just wrecked my demolition site? Listen, fuck nut, you set foot on one of my properties again, I'll make sure you can't buy so much as a tool shed in this town. Well, that was uncalled for. Uh, let's go take his ass for a little ride. Hey, hey, is that him in that car? Same dickish face as the billboards. It's just a car. Howdy. Me again. You gonna make this easy and give me the deed to the church? You? Go fuck yourself. Bad answer, John. If I were you, I'd hold on to your ass. Let's show this shitbag a little Santo Eliso drift. Whoa! 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 We are. Now give us the deed. No way! Okay. Guess we're gonna have to play hardball.
you're taking me! I told you. I play hardball. In traffic. You'll get us all killed! This is how you do business? That's right, man. We're local! Just give us a deed. No! Guess this Bronco ain't done bucking yet. Final offer, John. You're not leaving here unless we get what we want. Think he can handle a little airtime? Going for the door. Speed up. Fine. Take the deed. Take my whole damn briefcase! Just leave me alone! Pleasure doing business with you. Now, this car is also ours now, too. So get the fuck out. Party's over here. <laughs> We're great. We got the deed and a briefcase. Yeah, plus we blew up some shit, did some sick drifts, and uh, stole the church. All in a day's work. Ready to head home? Sound home. Bad. Ooh, I'm gonna post about it. Yada yada da, yada da da da. Hashtag take me to church, hashtag new digs for this, hashtag list. And posted. Oh, look, I already got a like. Seriously? How many followers you got there? DJ Kev has his fans. Marshall backed off. You get the deed? Yep, we got the dude's whole briefcase. Let's get inside. You got the keys? Keys? No, just the briefcase. No problem. I'm sure I can get in through a window or something and open it up. Why don't we just break down a door? Uh, not my door. Whoa, calm down, Dad. Do you know how much a door costs? We own this place. We have to pay for that shit. Nina was right. This place is awesome. Hey, check it out. Cool graveyard. Yeah. Hang on, I'm getting a call. Oh, shit. You better hear this. Hi, Kevy. We saw your post. Congrats on the new digs. We adore your takedown of that gentrifying dick. Hey, who is that? The Collective. The idols want to throw you a housewarming party. Fuck. Their parties get violent. Pass on that. I wasn't asking. Duh. <laughs> See you soon, Kevin. Uh. I'll get the door. Hang tight. Have you seen what's in this briefcase? Not now, Eli. Get inside. And maybe revisit your stance on guns? That one had to hurt. You think the church can protect you from us? I won't submit to this! up in the graveyard. I'm coming, Kev.
Battles are in the church. Help! I've got you, Eli. this out. Hell of a housewarming. Guess all that's left to do is check out the new digs. Yeah, okay. Dead bodies notwithstanding, this place is pretty great. Right? There's a lot of potential here. A lot of work to do, but still... We're actually gonna do this, aren't we? You're goddamn right we are. At least we've got a cool logo. I'll take it off the whiteboard. We need a name. The Saints. We call ourselves the Saints.
place has so much potential. I can't wait to decorate. I got a list of stuff that'll really complete the vibe, you know? We ain't exactly got the budget for home decor right now. No problem. There's a nice cheap way. Come with me to Fort Cullen and I'll show you. There's a bunch of cool collectibles around town that would look amazing in the church. All we have to do is find a thing we want, snap a picture, and boom. It'll just show up there. Really? How does that work? It works. Yeah. But how? It just works? Don't overthink it. Do you know someone with like a 3D printer or something? I do, actually. Remember Teddy? Your ex? The guy with the ponytail? Other ex, Teddy. The woman with the mohawk? Right, so here's how it works. I think the Western Golden Cannon would rock at the church. Just take a picture of it. All right, let's head back and see what we got. So, Teddy, she was cool. She still is. I was thinking maybe next time we do a karaoke night, I'll invite her. Unless she's back with Melissa, of course. Ugh, Melissa. She has a good heart. Oh, how about we put the cannon here? Nice. Oh, it's badass. Keep a lookout for the rest of the shit on that list, huh? This place has so much potential. Howdy, Eli. What's up? I hereby invite you to the inaugural meeting of the Saints Board of Directors. Huh. Didn't realize we were gonna be so corporate structury. There'll be donuts. Be right there. Okay. So we got the name, we got the home base, we got the logo. So that means next step is to find people that can shoot guns? No. Uh, so that means next step is to make connections with the people that can shoot guns. Oh, come on, man. We want this thing to be more than a street gang. We want to be an organization, an institution. And that means we need to have our fingers in more pies. You got an idea where to start? As a matter of fact, I do. Okay. Everyone's action item is to reach out to their contacts and see what new business opportunities you can find for the Saints. Shit. My contacts all got their own things going already. What about JR? Your partner's on his garage, right? Maybe he'll go all in with the Saints? No harm in asking. Great. What about you, Nina? I can't talk to any of my old Panteros contacts. But I do know some people who did business with them. I'm sure I can persuade them to do business with us instead. Nice. Kevin, <laughs> you want contacts? I got contacts, baby. Okay, go be superstars. Meantime, I'm gonna finish going through that briefcase we got from John Bland. That thing's a treasure trove, let me tell you. Everyone, keep me posted on your progress. JR, how'd you like to be a part of something big? My friends and I are starting a new venture. Sounds awful nice, but our current venture's in trouble. Those Panteros are cutting into our profits something fierce. I'll tell you what. Join our new thing, and no one's ever gonna mess with this garage again. Well, you take care of this Panteros problem, and I'll consider it. Deal. Yep, 
So, how are these Panteros fucking with our business? You name it. Undercutting costs, scaring off our customers. Sergio said this jacked up mound of a dude take care to run me out of business any way and every way he can. You take care of his toughs at the park, maybe you'll scare him enough to go mess with someone else. Say no more. Jim Rob's garage is off limits. Show your face there again, you're dead. The old man sent you? You mess with JR, you mess with us. Protect what's ours. Oh. Howdy. Hey, JR. I took care of the crew in the park. <laughs> I'll be. Let's go after their supply lines next. Derek's got a crew at the train depot smuggling in crates of stolen parts. That's how they keep undercutting my prices. Don't worry. I got this. Feel free to blow up their cars, too. Panteros get real bugged by that. Hey, Eli. I'm fixing up a Pantero's problem for JR. Then I think he's in. How's the rest of the team doing? Great. Kevin knows so many people. <laughs> Reckon all he has to do is buy him coffee to get him to sign on. Well, I'm busting my ass torching Pantero's cars. Come on. You know you love it. I really do. Make you bleed. Ain't your territory, dumbass. It is now. You fuck with Jim Rob, you answer to the Saints. <laughs>
Tell Sergio Jim Rob's garage is under the safe protection. Jim Rob's. Two for two, JR. Son of a gun, you still got it. Only thing left to hit is Derek's HQ. It's down on the corner. Oh, hell's bells. You gotta get back here. Derek and his crew just rolled up on me. This is what you get for fighting back, old man. You get off of my land. Fuck, better hurry. Say this one last time. Stay away from JR. Gonna forget this. That's a bunch you. That settles Derek and his crew. Right thoughtful of him to bring the fight to us. So, what should I tell my friends? Are you in? I'm in. What do you call this new outfit? We're the Saints. Welcome aboard. Well, we can count JR in. Uh, what is this? It's not board game night. No. This is where all our dreams come true. Don't say that. My dreams are pretty weird. While you were out talking to JR, I was going through the briefcase we got from John Bland, the real estate guy. Turns out the deeds of the church wasn't the only thing in there. As of now, we are the proud owners of a shit ton of empty lots all across town. That's real estate we can use to start up some new, um, entrepreneurial ventures. By which he means crimes. Fine, yes, crimes. Nice. You did say we need to have our fingers in more pies. I've got that covered. I spent the whole day baking my ass off. Okay, fine. They're empanadas. That's not a pie. It's in the pie family. Now I'm really hungry. Plan first, eat later. Right. So, how do we cover all this ground? One building at a time. So far, we've got the church... ...and Jim Robs. So what do we build next? Whatever we want. Okay, look, there's nothing cool about toxic waste. It's gross, it's probably gonna kill you, but that green stuff's gonna make us rich. Big companies drive their toxic waste here and pay us big bucks by the barrel. Then we dump it on the cheap. Now, my man with the plan is Jersey Dan. He did time for this kind of shit, so he knows what he's talking about. He'll fill you in. Dan, where are the trucks? Well, turns out we gotta get the trucks ourselves. Well? 
Why don't the customers bring them here? Our customers are respectable captains of industry. They don't want to be associated with the likes of us. Then to hell with them! Now hear me out. For an additional transport fee, I arrange to have them leave the trucks at places around the city. All you gotta do is drive them here. Fine. I'll get the trucks. And that's how you lead by example. I put the first one on the map for you. Car? Yes! This is Sergio stink all over it! I need your help! I'm getting my car back with interest! On my way. Come on! Go get my car back. You want the wheel? And try not to drive angry. So, any idea where they took your car? If they stole it, we're gonna chop it. But you know Sergio. I wanna make it personal first. Take it for a spin, drag race. Show the Panteros to the boss. Most likely place he'd do that is at the culvert in Smelterville. Hopefully we can catch him there before he carves it up. He knows what that car means to me. Damn. I don't know if I ever said this in so many words, but that guy is a first-rate turd bucket. You've spent hours on that car. I've spent years on that car. That's why he took it. As far as he's concerned, I didn't betray Los Panteros. I betrayed him. He's got to make it hurt. I don't get it. If someone betrayed me, I'd just, you know, bang. Not that I want him to do that to you, just it seems easier. That's not how it works in Los Panteros. You shoot someone in the face, they're dead. You fuck up their car, they're nothing. Here's the culvert. They ain't gonna be happy to see you. Whatever, as long as I get my car. Oye, cabrones! Donde está mi carro? Shit! It's Nina! They deserve that. You got no place here anymore. Got this around here. Our party, thing. This is what happens when you touch our stuff. Big mistake, Nina! Should've just let it go! What? What? No! Huh? Huh? No! Huh? Oh, fuck! Fuck! God damn it! Her old car? You assholes are gonna look real for you! I know I do. I don't see your car. Damn it! It's not here. We must already be chopping it. We've gotta get to the garage. What if we're too late? Sergio's people are professionals. Cut it up clean so they can sell it for parts. So you could rebuild it then? Eventually. Doesn't mean I won't take it out of their ass for putting me through the trouble.
Hola, Gabriel. Where's my car? It's not here. No digas pendejadas. We both know you chop Sergio's special projects. Don't look like he's gonna talk. He's our only fucking lead. Wait, what was it you said about Los Panteros? Shoot one in the face and they're dead. But fuck up their car, and they're nothing. Wait, what? Oh, my paint job, my fucking paint job! Okay, okay, I'll talk. Sergio took your car to the quarry. What? Oh no, 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 no. We gotta go, we gotta go now. Oh, what the fuck? I just spilled the beans. Drive now to the quarry. I don't get it. What does that mean? What's the quarry? It means Sergio doesn't want to chop my car. He doesn't even want to sell it for scrap. You mean he's gonna... Right over the edge. There's no fixing that. If we don't stop him... That turd bucket. Hang on. We got all kinds of Panteros up our ass. Cover me! Don't worry. We'll get there in time. I'm taking you apart! Fucking Sergio! Oh, you ain't getting away from me! Ugh. And Taro's ain't gonna stop us now. I gotta reload! Reckon we really got their goat on this one. I'm getting close. Step on it. Please, 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 please. I drove that car all the way here from Guadalajara. My family's so far away, you know? It felt like I was keeping part of them with me. She never let anyone else drive that car. Who? My mom. But when Kimo made her weak, I drove her around. Ah, uh, fuck. I promised her I'd take care of that car. Ella confiaba en mí. Let's go. We can still catch up to him. Nah. If Sergio's gonna fuck with my family, I'm gonna fuck with his.
Hey, pal. You busy tonight? I'm at the gym. It's leg day. Why? I was gonna make popcorn and binge watch telenovelas till dawn. Yes, we can finally find out who killed Corazon. I'll meet you at the church as soon as I'm done here. You just waking up? Uh, telenovela binge last night. Kev was supposed to join, but he stood me up. That doesn't sound like Kev. Plus, he left his inhaler here, and he's not answering my texts. You think he's okay? I'm sure he's fine. I can run the inhaler to him just in case. Without interrupting anything, I hope. I'm tracking his phone. Huh. Looks like he's at the Snake Oil Saloon. The biker bar. Well, maybe he's back with Tattoo Mom again. Oh, I liked her. I know, right? Come on, Kevin. Pick up. Yes? Oh, hey. You're not Tattoo Mom. Uh, I was looking for Kevin. Yeah, man, Kevin is, uh, shall we say, a little tied up at the moment. Wow. I did not need that detail. I'm just gonna drop this off. Idols? Wait a minute. Kev's not the fun kind of tied up. Those fucks. Where the fuck is Kevin? Kevin ain't here, so fuck up. <clears throat> fuck you, Saint. Fuck you, Saint. Tell me where he is. Somebody better talk. I want my friend, and I want his phone. I've never seen Kevin want 
piece of shit! Can anyone answer a simple question? That's Kev's ringtone. Kev, finally. To me, Eli. The idol's got Kevin. Shit. All right, I'll track their socials and see what I can find. Great. I'll work the problem from my angle. I will kill every fucking one of you until I get answers. myself. Uh. First one to talk gets to walk away. Uh. Damn. I still need one to interrogate. I don't you want the go. smoke. No, I'll get you in. It doesn't have to be a date date. Someone's in there. Yes, I'm on the can. So? Someone in here! Fuck off! Yeah! What the hell is happening?! I'm gonna play wrecking ball with your camp until you tell me where Kevin is. Fuck you! Let me go! I'll let you go, as soon as you squeal like a pig. Only idols will out here. Get gone! It's fucking everywhere! so much right now. Except Kevin's location. You don't understand. Don't kill me if I talk. Suit yourself. This is sick. What is wrong with you? All right, all right. I'll tell you where the traitor is. It was the collective. They took him to the top of the big Santo Melisto sign. Sign? What kind of anarchist bullshit are you planning? We're gonna blow it up with Kevin on it. Now let me out like you promised! Never said I'd let you out. 
I only said I'd let you go. Shit. Eli, pick up anything on the socials? Yeah, some big idols party at a mansion and a, a timer counting down. Let me guess, a mansion by the Santo Aleso sign. Headed there now. The collective is behind it. Might need backup. Kev's all the backup I'll need. All right, bring him home. Nothing's getting between me and Kev. No distractions, just get to Kev. Killing you is a piece of shit. I'm coming, Kev. I'm coming. That one had to hurt. You won't walk away from this. I'm coming for you, buddy. Join this fight! Go to their flank! Ah! These Yahoo's rig bombs all the way up? Okay, remember your martial training. You're too late, Saint! Knocking him down. Look at you, pathetic. Running like a hamster so intent on the wheel that it never sees its cage. Kevin saw the cage, once, but he chose to stay nested in his wood chips. Now he pays the price. You can't get all our bombs before your time runs out. Halfway there. You fuckers think you can stop me now? This is as high as you get. That one had to hurt. Now I cut this one. I tried! <sighs> She just speed up the timers. God damn. Idols, time to flee or become martyrs. The freedom to choose, as always, is yours. Kevin, over here! I'm so good, I surprised myself. Kev! Oh, man. Am I glad to see you? Let me deal with this last bomb and we'll get you out of here. Should have waited for you on the telenovelas. So, who killed Corazon? Oh shit. Her spirit possessed the priest and testified that her evil twin. Never mind. We'll rewatch them together. There. That's the last bomb. Wow. You saved me. You're like literally my hero. What now? 
Now I say we wingsuit down to that mansion and teach those motherfucking motherfuckers what happens when they kidnap a saint. Be the motherfucking way. up a tourist sign what is wrong with you people they deserve that Motherfucker! Not the show you were hoping for, huh? How do post-capitalists afford a house this big? Good, I surprised myself. Anarchist fuck nuts. All 
of them? Yep. Oh, thanks for the rescue. I really owe you one. Ah, forget it, man. We're family. The idol said they were my family, too. Well, some families tie you to a chair so they can watch you explode, and others don't. Yeah. Thanks for being the second kind. Ow. It's me. Time to pay Sergio back for what he did to my car. I have a plan, but I need you to get me into the Scorpion factory. That's Pantero's HQ. Give me a sec, give me a sec. Got it. Meet me at the FB's in Mercado. So, you said you've got a plan. Yep. I'm gonna blow up all their cars and destroy the forge so they can't make more. Uh, how exactly? Today's the first Wednesday of the month, barbecue time. Everybody will be outside for lunch, the factory will be almost deserted, except for the cars. We get in, go through the garage, torching everything with wheels. You take care of anybody who might try to stop us. Then, when we get to the forge, I know where they keep the oxyacetylene tanks for welding. That stuff's explosive as fuck. You hold them off while I roll the tanks right down its throat. Boom. No more forge. Damn. That's planned. The best part is, Sergio's out on a collection run. By the time he even hears about it, it'll be too late. How are we gonna get inside the Scorpion factory? I'm fixing to liberate a helicopter from the aerial gun range. The what now? It's a tourist thing. They rent out helicopters with machine gun turrets, then fly them over the desert and shoot... I don't know. Whatever's out there to shoot. This is for fucking real. I know, right? Fine. If stealing a tourist assault helicopter gets me inside the factory, whatever. I do know a fella I could borrow one from. His rate's pretty high. So... This forge thing we're blowing up? It's the giant furnace Los Panteros use to make all the custom gear and weapons and bling for their cars. Huh. That'll cut Sergio off at the knees. It'll do more than that. The forge is symbolic. It's power and protection and home and heart. Everything Los Panteros are supposed to be about. Forget his knees. We're gonna rip out his heart. Barbecue day, just like I said. 
Didn't expect an aerial assault on your lunch break, did you? Christ, this thing's for Taurus? Dead as a doornail. Hey, reinforcements. They look like ants from up here. I brought you along. Looks like there's guards on the roof. Take them out, too. That's it! Show them who's boss! I'm so good, I surprised myself. All clear. Land on the roof, and we'll get inside. We'll have to go in through the vent. We're in. Let's blow some shit up. Fuck up their cars and they're nothing, right? Exactly. You wreck my car, I wreck all your fucking cars. Nitpick. But didn't your plan call for this place to be deserted? It should have been. We must be working double shifts. And look at all this gear. That third field is going to be made. Well, we're taking care of that. Lie down and take your shit. Bye bye, bro. <sighs> Sergio's 
monster truck. Didn't I destroy that thing? I told you, Sergio can use the forge to build anything. I'm going all in! This will be better. Come with me to the control booth. You're gonna need the crane. Crane? The plan didn't have a crane. Gotta remember the crane. Power up that console. It's not working. Shit, you have to activate the junction box. It's down there, next to the oxyacetylene tanks. Nina, what's the play here? No time to explain. You trust me? Damn right. Then do it. Grab power to the crane. Cover me. I said I was gonna wreck all their cars, and I fucking meant it. What are you doing, Nina? Esto es por ti, mamá. Hot damn! That was me levels of crazy. Now, what was your exit plan? I planned that you'd improvise. I trust you, too. Oh. Okay, then. Follow me. What's this? Crash test truck. You mean exit plan? Can you get that car working? What kind of question is that? Watch my back. Dog. 
all their cars for this one, huh? How's it feel? Fucking great. What's up, Eli? Meet me at the church. It's time to address our staffing needs. On my way. So... How do we staff up? Easy. I've got a 14-step plan. Sounds about 13 steps too many. Yeah. Why not just go to Boot Hill and show everyone what a badass you are? What's Boot Hill? Are you kidding me? Check out the laptop. Okay. Boot Hill is this live stream fight club kind of thing they do on the abandoned island out in the lake. This sick cat named Doc Ketchum runs the show. Fight club? More like murder circus. We need to recruit more saints, right? Everyone in town with a criminal record watches this live stream. Oh, he's right. I've seen Pantero streaming it. I just didn't know what it was called. But it's crazy dangerous. It's viral marketing. Viral marketing is not supposed to come with a mortality rate. It's like breaking out in the art world. You gotta do something to capture people's attention. This does. Plus it nails our target demographic. I don't know. You're the one who have to do this. What do you think? Y'all had me at Murder Circus. You sure? We cannot afford to lose you. Also, you're our friend. And we'd miss you. Chill out, buddy. I was born for this. Sweet. There's a ferry to the island that docks out back. We can do this whenever you're ready. Let's go join the murder circus. Bye-bye, birdie. 
Surprise myself.
somewhere around here. Won't get us new recruits, nothing will. Christ, so that's what being good at murder means. I know. Seeing it on the leaderboard really puts things in perspective. Should we be scared or reassured? Why not both? Eli, mute your fucking phone. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. Holy shit. These just keep coming in. Who are they from? People who are watching. They want to learn from the master. You know what that means. We got recruits. We got recruits. We got recruits. Don't forget, it's game night tonight. Shit, yeah! It ain't my turn to get snacks, is it? After those Marmite-flavored potato chips you brought last time, I don't think we're ever letting you get snacks again. My whole wardrobe now. I bet curators get shot at a lot less than I do. Yo! I don't like it, Eli. Yeah, no doubt. This fucker's hogging all the sloths. I'm talking about what we're paying the crew. You mean what we're not paying the crew? Bullets and 401ks are expensive. There's a bunch of ways we can get some quick cash. Nina can boost some cars, I'll do hits, Kev can run a bake sale. I'm not sure that's gonna work. Look, man, I know I normally do savory, but I can bake the shit out of some macaron. Meerkat me. Look, if you want insured salary kill bots, we need to bring in a lot more cash. All right, so what? We rob a bank? No. We rob a train. I don't know where this is going, but it sounds like my kind of stupid. Okay, you know how banks have federal requirements for how much cash they need to keep on hand? No. Well, they do. And since the economy in Santo Ileso has skyrocketed, they have to keep bringing in more money to meet the minimums. And let me guess, they move it in by train. 
It's really more of a mobile fortress. Oh, good. How do you know so much about this? Sergio talked about wanting to hit it every time it rolled into town. But you guys never made a play for it? We never had enough hardware. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. The Forge. That's what they were gearing up for. Oh, so the impossible to rob train is going to be attacked by the Panteros as well. Cool. Look, I'm not saying it would be easy, but we have time to plan. Oh, and Kev, I'm taking your wallabies for the win. <laughs> uh, damn wallabies. Yes! Okay, so it's a tough job. Let's get some extra muscle. A top-tier murder machine to help me out. You have someone in mind? I do. Someone I met during my stint at Marshall. It'll be a tough sell, but I bet we can persuade him. Cool, let's give him a call. Can't do that. Oh, why? He's been detained in a privately owned prison called the Frontier. You want to break out the Nawali, don't you? Assuming he hasn't been extrajudicially murdered by now, yes. What can go wrong? I mean, I could die. But let's be positive. Coming up on the Frontier. Shit, that place is a fucking fortress. I'm gonna stay low to avoid detection. I'm gonna have to find a way to do the same. You know, maybe actually be stealthy for once. Hey, I could be stealthy. That's why I dug out my old Marshall uniform. To blend in. I'm like a total stealth pro. Seriously? You used a hand grenade to open a bottle of beer. That was one time. On the roof. Stay in the air. I'll be out with our new recruit in two shakes. 10-4. I'm in. You need to remember to stealth. Keep moving, and don't let any guards get a good look at your face. If they do, I'll bluff my way through. Quit fussing. Hey, I don't recognize you. Yeah, this is my first night shift. Keep moving. Don't give them time to think about it. Attention guests! A reminder that all constitutional protections are suspended on frontier property, pursuant to Congressional Secret Act number 88. Okay, I'm gonna make quick contact with the Nawali and skip on down to the control room to disable the lock on his cell. Make it fast. I don't know how long I can hold this position. Watch Commander is looking for you. See? I can so stealth. You know what stealthy people don't do? Squawk about how stealthy they are. Yeah, yeah. VIP cells just down here. Hey, I don't know you. I don't know you either. It's a big company. Want to get out of here? You! You put me in here! Career change. Got a job in mind for you. Sit tight. What are you 
doing it here. Passing through to meet my CO. How are you getting into the control room? Fixing to walk in like I own the place and press the button. That seriously does not count as stealthing. It does if it works. Evening. What are you doing? Orders. Whose orders? I give it. Wait a minute. You're the one who got fired because of that museum fiasco. Fuck. Move, move. Warning. Guard down. Implementing lockdown. Double fuck? Gotta get out of here. Maybe busting the servers? I tell you apart! should go. What makes you think there is a we? If there's not, you'll never know why I risk breaking you out. Very well, lead on. Okay, Nina, you were right. I suck at stuff. I'm gonna do my thing now. You mean shoot your way out. I mean shoot my way out. Locked. So we kill all the guards in this room. They'll have to open the door to send reinforcements. Good call. And here I thought I was following you. Oh. Oh. Take cover. <laughs> Knocking them down. Atticus, busy breaking out prisoners. Later, Gator. Kill the guard. I authorize lethal containment measures. <laughs> 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 Could use that pickup now. No can do. You started a prison riot. The whole place is lit up like a Christmas tree. I can't get anywhere close. Okay, change of plans. Down instead of up. We'll steal a car. Hmm. Careless, but opportunistic. Interesting.
So good, I surprised myself. I won't die out of my business. In the car. Reinforcements are on their way! Aim for the gates! I see them! They're headed for the gate! Close the gates! Close the gates! Hurry! They're shutting you in! So much for going out the front. Shit! Nina, you got eyes on an escape route? I can't see anything. They're chasing me out of the airspace. Huh, so you only planned half a rescue. Why do they The servers back up. Ah! There, we're out of the prison. And how will you get out of the canyon? Uh, to the left? Which is taking us back to the prison. Shit. No, we can drive across the roof. My plan exactly. Oh. Yeehaw! That was fun, wasn't it? You hungry? <sighs> Thanks for stopping. Figured you could use a good meal. <laughs> okay. Good's a little generous. All right, it's a lot generous. But I'm willing to bet it's better than what they serve you in the frontier. I appreciate it. And my freedom. Even if you're the one who put me there. Oh, shit. Is this gonna be a problem? I know what it feels like to be judged for following orders. Sounds like a hell of a story. It is. You wanna tell me? We're not friends. We could be. I should go. You need a ride? No, no. It will be nice to walk. But thank you for offering. Call me when you're ready to talk about the job.
Hey, I hope this thing with the Nawali works out, because we really kicked the hornet's nest on this one. How do you mean? I mean Marshall is out in force. They've set up checkpoints and roadblocks all over the west side of town, looking for you and the Nawali. I can stay ahead of Marshall. Are you sure? Because from what I hear, they have orders to shoot you on sight. Hey, we got another company meeting coming up to discuss the, uh, training program. Just call it a train heist. Nobody's listening. Can we at least pretend operational security is a... <sighs> Never mind. It's your turn to get donuts. Fine. I'm on it. Of course there's a line. Hey, Nina. Rustling up donuts for the meat. Any preferences? Ooh, give me the special. You want me to check what it is first? It's a donut, and it's special. What else do I need to know? Hey, Kev. Picking up donuts. Want anything? Oh, man. I should probably avoid the carbs. I thought it was cheat day. That's Tuesdays. Yeah, we went donut place. Maybe I'll make an exception. Holy cow, it's you! Oh, mama, it's my lucky day! The fuck? What was that? You okay? Yeah, some rando just attacked me. Dibs! I saw this first! Shit, there's more! Money, money. What the hell's going on? Sounds like you're... Oh shit, yeah, you're on the Wanted app. I'm what? Anybody in town could be trying to kill you for the bounty. Stay there. I'm on my way. Just stay there. Next time, Eli buys donuts. Looks like my shit Knocking can finally down. come in! <laughs> Thought this was gonna be easy money, huh? I need this money! Uh. Fucking amateur. Dead as a doornail. Uh. Uh. Anytime now, kid. I am not dying, it's donut shop. I'm almost out front. Don't worry, I've got a plan. Get in, hurry. You don't want to stick around here. Any idea who might have put you on wanted? Take your pick. Marshall, the Idols, Los Panteros, somebody's widow or orphan. Right. Pretty sure I've got a former college roommate who might have done it. Well, whoever it is has money. The bounty they set is huge. Look. Holy shit, I'd almost off myself for that money. Is that my DMV pick? They deserve that. So, what's your plan? Is it better than me murdering my way through every wannabe killer in town? It is. I'm taking you to my buddies, Hank and Claude. They designed the Wanted app. They can take you off it. You sure? Yeah, they're cool. They brought the gig economy to murder for hire. Well, it started as a dating app, but the market was so crowded, you know? I'm glad they found their niche. I'm so good, I surprised myself. So, how do you know these two hacker guys? Crew wanted. Back when it was a dating app. You dated one of them. Both. We had a really special week together. Holy shit! Someone set up a roadblock! Doornail. Another roadblock. You guys are getting serious. Ugh. 
knocking them down. There's their house. We're almost out of this. Hank! Claude! Hi, Kev! What a pleasure. I need a favor. My friend ended up on your Wanted app and needs to get taken off. Oh, I'm sorry. We never curate user content on the Wanted app. Corporate policy! Yeah? How about I put you two yahoos on the app? Wait, what? Uh, we got more users incoming. We'll hold them off if you two clean up this mess. Uh, motion to amend corporate policy? Second! All in favor? Aye! Motion passes! Hurry! Take us all off! Uh, sorry for putting the hit out on your friends there, Kev. Nah, they were kind of asking for it. Back there. Just need to update the database. I think you mean reinitialize the server? The posts are in the database, but the server is what pushes them. I'm gonna fucking die over this. I've been after you since the donut stand, and I'm not gonna stop now. I'll make a mint off of you. Let's do this. This is the big one. Oh. You're really making us earn it, huh? Ugh. Knocking him down. I can take that money now. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Cancel. Looks like they're backing off. You know, I reckon maybe the Saints ought to take that app off your hands. For everyone's safety. You mean, like a bio? Sure. Cool. We own the Wanted app now. Yeah. But we're super late for Eli's meeting. Before joining the Saints, I was miserable. with the Nawali works out, because we really kicked the hornet's nest on this one. How do you mean? I mean Marshall is out in force. They've set up checkpoints and roadblocks all over the west side of town, looking for you and the Nawali. I can stay ahead of Marshall. Are you sure? Because from what I hear, they have orders to shoot you on sight. It's me. I'm waiting. Are we going to plan this train robbery or not? I was just about to call you. It's time to start preparing. Meet me at the church. Finally. Sorry about not being able to connect the other day. A whole lot of people tried to kill me, so I had to, you know, murder the shit out of them, and, well, time got away from me. Eh, it happens. You meet the rest of the crew yet? No, I was waiting for you. 
Well, let's meet him. Hey, everyone. I'd like to introduce you to the Nawali. He's here to make our train robbing dreams a reality. It's nice to meet you, sir. I'm Eli. I'm Kevin. Everyone calls me Kev. You're not wearing a shirt. Less shirt, more power. I'm not sure that's how it works. Yeah, don't try to figure it out. I'm Nina. It's nice to meet you. Yes, a pleasure. So, shall we plan the heist? No. I thought you called me here because you wanted to prepare for the robbery. Correct. So we are planning the heist? Mm, no. Okay, I must admit, I'm confused. What are we doing? Team building. What? Look, you don't know us, we don't know you, but we're putting our lives in each other's hands, so we need to be on the same page. Eli threw out the idea that we should spend a day doing some team building exercises. You know, so we can really get a sense of camaraderie. We have hats. I thought we agreed to use the fleur. This is better. I'm with Nina. I have so many questions. And that, my friend, is what team building is all about. Check it out. The best RV money can rent. Shotgun! Everyone get in! Well, this vehicle is well stocked with beer, but I don't see any guns. Nope. No guns today. So, it's to be knife work, then. What? No, we're just gonna have a regular, non-murdery bonding day with friends. Everybody gets to choose one activity they want to do. And then, we all go do it. Hmm. I'm up first. I brought the spray paint. I know a place in Mercado that's just begging for a saint's mural. Isn't that Pantero's turf? All the more reason. All right. We get to see the magic happen. So we are engaging in common vandalism. Excuse me? Whoa there. It's not vandalism, it's art. Damn right it is. Art made illegally. With spray paint. Look, Nina's hot shit. It'll be a top-notch mural for everyone to enjoy. You'll see. Are you sure we shouldn't be planning the heist? Yes, I plan today to be just for fun. Here we go. Not a bad example of my orange period, but I can do better now. Let's put some morado in Mercado. This is what you do? Painting? I thought you were criminals. No. I mean, yeah. I mean, this is Pantero's turf. Nina ran with him before we started the same, so for her to be here, putting up our colors... Ah, she's showing defiance in the face of her enemies. This... I understand. Uh, shit. We got Pantero's incoming. I thought we'd be out of here before they bounce. I'm not stopping now. Cover me. But it's a murder-free day. Ah, damn it. Getting rid of those assholes. Now I can get down to business. And done. Damn, Nina. Another masterpiece. Agreed. Now that I understand the context, it is impressive work. <sighs> and now that there ain't no one left to kill, we can get back to having fun. Back to the RV. So, who's up next? Me. I have found a new bar on Asher. It's got five stars, a huge tequila selection, and karaoke. Oh, man. It's been ages since we've done karaoke. Hey, Nawali, what's your karaoke song? I do not sing with strangers. And it's good we're friends now, isn't it? I guess anything but Love Shack. Love Shack? We haven't done Love Shack since Ghost Pepper Night. Kevin, we do not talk about Ghost Pepper Night. I made Ghost Pepper Chili. It was too spicy. They were not ghost peppers. They were demon peppers. Spent two fucking days in the bathroom. I got some in my eye. It was bad. 
All right, let's get this party kicking. Ah, apart from the karaoke, this is my kind of place. Well done, Eli. Barkeep, rustle up five tequilas, the karaoke book, and a play to your best flautas. Marshal security, we're looking for... Holy shit, the Nawali! Call the strike team, quick! Fuck, we better stop them. I know. Better run before that strike team gets here. Too late! Have to fight our way out. Damn it, this is not how this was supposed to go. Oh. I'm out. Hover bikes now? Too cool. Uh, they would be very useful for the train heist. We ain't discussing the tr- I'm changing my activity. Let's steal a hover bike and race it at jet ski point. Fair. You and the Nawali grab the bike. We'll meet you there. Why do you seem to hate your job so much? What? I don't hate my job. You are a professional cold-blooded killer like me, no? And yet, you do not wish to fight on your off hours. You know, when you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. Look at your friend, Kevin. Everything he does, he does with gusto. Hey, I murder with gusto. I just... Don't you ever want a day off? A killcation? No. Oh. Let's maybe keep that bit from Eli, huh? Okay, we're here, we're clear. Let's have some good, clean fun with this baby, huh? Lead on. Jet Ski Point belongs to the idols! Non-believers not welcome! Ev, what the hell? This place is crawling with idols. Yeah, uh, that's how I know
I'm so good, I surprised myself. It's like shooting very stupid fish in It. Are we done? Can we joyride in peace now? You bet. Come on back and we can... Oh, shit. There's more Marshal rolling up. I guess we didn't shake him after all. <sighs> we'll be right there. We gotta get out of here. <clears throat> Later, Gator. We'll hold them off. I'm out. You are in possession. We're supposed to be bonded. Oh. Days off are important for psychological health. Probably tracking the fucking bike. I can disable their tracker, but I'll need time. I know a place, a safe house, where we can hide the bike and arm ourselves against our enemies. But I insist, this is my choice of activity. Nina, head for the old graveyard west of Canada Rock. That was had to hurt. right now we're here I have weapons inside I'll stash the hover bike the rest of you keep watch you my friend I have a special weapon you may borrow try it out and use it to do what you love Ooh, hey thanks Now then, shall we meet the foe on our terms? Yeah. 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 Fuck yeah. Oh, Jesus. The idols found us too. And let's go fuck them up. <laughs> I'm so good I surprised myself.
This ain't the end. That's for fucking with our team building. I got that. Did we win? I think we won. Hey, y'all. I'm sorry today went to shit. I had this perfect plan, and it just went off the rails. Which makes it different from all your other plans. How exactly? Anyway, don't worry about it. Today was awesome. <laughs> it's true. I cannot recall having a more memorable time. Same here. Not since Ghost Pepper Night. Kevin, we do not speak of Ghost Pepper Night. Eh? Come on. Hand to God. Even I think that's crazy. Hey, when you're dealing with the Aztec cartel, it's best not to ask why and just go with it. <laughs> it's getting late. I should probably get going. Thanks for dinner, Kev. It was great. Thanks, man. The marinade does all the work. You're too modest. Drive safe. Thank you. And please, make Kev wear a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Not gonna fucking happen. Let me walk you out. Look, I know we're kind of ridiculous, but when push comes to shove, there's no one I want more by my side than those guys. They're good people. They are. I guess what I'm saying is... I know you're looking at the heist as a one-and-done sort of thing. You know, a debt that you're paying off, but it, it doesn't have to be. I'll think about it. Please do.
right on time. So, how do you want to do this? I don't know. Drive to the train, figure out where they're keeping the dough, hop aboard, and then kill the shit out of anyone who gets between us and our money? Sounds good. Let's move. Uh, wait. Before we go? Oh, no, I, I have a couple on me already. <laughs> Before the whole Saints thing got started, I... I got depressed and ordered a whole lot of knives. I figure if this is our only run together, you should at least get a souvenir. It's beautiful. Thank you. Let's get that money. Which car is the money on? Hard to tell from the surveillance imagery. And we hop on the back and work our way up until we find it. Whatever you say. Incoming fire! Cap! We're okay. Losing speed, though. Damn. We need the Nawali for this. Plan B. Nina, get me on the train, then go help Kevin. Got it. Hold tight. Oh. I'm so good, I surprised my... Woo! Made it. How's it going back there? I'm with Kev. Spike's fucked. Sorry. Lena's going to bring me up instead. It's plan C. We'll be right there. Oh, that one had to hurt. I could get a performance bonus for this. Can't hide forever. How you... So good, I um, Marshall locked the train down. I'll have to hotwire the doors. The thing I used to work for these assholes. We're close. Hang in there. <clears throat> Shit. Nina, stay back. They got a turret. What is your plan now? Um, get in close and try to hotwire it? Yeah. Call that plan D? <laughs> Detected. Screw Oddwire, and I can take out these control servers. System malfunction. Defense turret offline. Turret's down! You can bring in the Nawali now. Closing in. You better keep moving. Looks like they're up to something a few cars ahead. Don't mind me, just Later, passing Gator. through. Train. Nina, I need a lift. I have to drop off the Nawali and come back for him. Do it. Is that plan E? Technically, it's plan B again. This is no time for whiteboards, Eli. I'm here. Hop on. Let's catch that train. Oh, shit. Panteros, take a train. Find the money. Kill anyone in your way. I'm gonna need the Nawali. Fast. I'll drop you off and get him. What are you gonna do? I guess... Plan E? They deserve... Where are they coming from? Oh! Nobody robs this train but the Saints!
Reds think you can steal. Got the new alley. Heading to you. Sergio will crush you and you deserve it. This score is ours. Dead as a doornail. Damn it, those helicopters are dropping Panteros like Dagnab confetti. And you see him all over again. This train is no match for my trucks. Blow up all these fucking trucks. Ready to boss battle that turd bucket. Sorry if I surprised you. I thought stealth would be our ally. Yeah, no. Wow, you just killed him pretty hard. Eh, it was nothing. I know, I just kind of reckon I'd be the one to... You know what? It's good. It's all good. Let's go get our money. Fall back! Panteros, fall back! <gasps> you killed now, Sergio! You bastard! Another turret. Follow my lead. I know how to handle myself against Marshall. This is refreshing. I'm glad you broke me out. Ugh. Who else wants to take us on? Unauthorized entry detected. Let's take this puppy down. System malfunction. Defense turret offline. 
You do have a gift for destruction. I think I can see the church from up here. Hey, Nwali, you ever rob a train like this before? On foot, I mean. Yes, once, in the Andes. It was during a blizzard, so the footing was more treacherous. Watch your ears! Later, Gator. <laughs> Jet bikes. Perhaps we can use these to make our escape. Gotta find the money first. Uh, it always pays to have an escape plan. Look out! Seal the car! Split them up! Nuwali! Are you all right? What's happening in there? We got split up. I lost the Nuwali. Nuwali! Nuwali, come in! Over! Is he okay? Or do you think he bailed on us? He wouldn't do that. Right? <laughs> Dead as a doornail. Somebody give me some good news. You're near the front. Money must be. Did they launch a helicopter? Yeah, I'm sick of this shit. I'm grabbing their tank. Your what? I'm calling this Plan F. F for fuck. I'm so good, I surprised myself. Next time, build a smaller train. Welcome to Plan F, motherfuckers! Bye bye, Bert. Glad you taught me to drive one of these. Dead as a door. Jesus, fuck, what was that? That falling VTOL must have hit something important. I'm seeing explosions all over. You better hurry. Nina, we need an evac. I'm not in position. I had to fall back. There it is. I see the money car. For once, things went as planned. Let's see how we did. That enough to cover the crew? You're goddamn right it is. <laughs> you might even have enough left over to buy some proper stemware. Then they wouldn't be mugmosas. Thanks for your help. 
Thanks for the knife. Think about what I said. <sighs> I will. And if you guys need anything, just call. He was a nice guy. Sad to see him go. He carved out Sergio's heart. Okay. He was an intense guy. Sad to see him go. Hey, we had a big win today. We should do something irresponsible to celebrate. What do you have in mind? Oh, I don't know. The money fight! <laughs> 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down there, buddy. Okay. We don't almost kill Kev. I was in the moment. <laughs> you dumb son of a bitch. I am so sorry, Kevin. Buy me a stand mixer and all is forgiven. Deal. I don't believe all that hollow earth bullshit. Holy shit! Those panteros are in total confusion now that Sergio's dead. I think we broke their spine. Couldn't have happened to a bigger bunch of assholes. There's hardly any of them on the streets right now. It, it probably won't last, but this is a chance to really take a bite out of their territory. Kick them when they're down, you mean? With steel-toed boots. Call me in if you decide to go for it. Howdy, Kev. Eli's calling a board meeting. I'll head back to the barn. Look, if you can't say anything, no. Okay. We got the name, we got the space, we got the logo, we got the employees. And we got the fucking money. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Which means there's one thing left to do. How do we make a statement? Well, uh, we just robbed a money train and killed Sergio in a particularly horrific fashion. Oh, so you ripped out Sergio's heart. I was there for moral support. It doesn't matter. Because word on the street is that the Nawali was a one-man wrecking crew. The Saints didn't get any shine from the heist. So, we're gonna need something that establishes us as an institution. All right, so we need to do something that says, we're not going anywhere, come at us. Exactly. We steal the Hummingbird Codex. Marshall wanted to protect it. Panteros and the Idols wanted to steal it. And if it wasn't for that fucking book, we wouldn't have formed the Saints. It should be ours. I like it. How do we do it? I mean, I figured we'd just go in with a bunch of guns and kill the shit out of everybody. But if we want to do some heist movie stuff, I can work with that. Yeah, That's cool. guns work. Sounds good. So, the idols hide their stolen stuff in an abandoned boat shop? Under the boat shop. They've got stash houses all over the city. I figure the Codex is probably there because it's closest to the museum. And it's practically next door to us? I know. Stealing the Codex is going to be the easiest statement we ever made. Hells yeah! On assholes, we're here to steal back the codex you stole after it was stolen from other people.
bottom of those stairs. And it's clear sailing from here to there. Let's go get it. Flanking the adversary. They locked us in. Congratulations on proving your own predictability. Toad's predictable. That's not the Codex, it's another fake. And a bomb. It's okay, I can disarm this. Probably. Marshal training, marshal training. Got it. <sighs> Those fuckers almost fucked us up. And we better fuck them up twice as much to make our statement. You mean find the Codex and bust some serious heads? Hells yeah. I don't think the bomb went off. So we do this the fun way. Codex in here. Where would they have taken it? They didn't just move the Codex. They emptied this whole place. So how do you empty a boathouse? Of course! The Collective's yacht! It's like their HQ. I bet they transferred everything there. And that's where we're going next. There's some jet skis out back. We can grab one of those. The idols won't shoot at their own jet skis. This is gonna be an epic statement. That yacht's guarded AF. Dude, did you just say AF? Yeah, it's an abbreviation. First, we fucking swear all the time. Second, it's only an abbreviation when you text. AF, as fuck. Same number of syllables, dumbass. Okay, fine. This is gonna be an epic statement because that yacht is guarded as fuck. And every damn one of them is gonna learn what happens when you try to blow up a saint. Hells yeah! We're gonna want a different way back. It'd suck to get the Codex wet. Don't fret. Call home for a ride. Hey, Nina. Can you send a helicopter to pick us up from the Collective's yacht? Are you two crazy? Let me see who I can find. We can use those ramps to get onto the yacht. Find Let's go find the Codex. We're here to take what we want. Don't Just like you used to. Deserve that. This is a cannon shoot! Later, Gator. Saints took your prize. Oh, it had to hurt. Hey, you don't take it out on me. Going in the Nina sent me with the chopper. I'll just hover over till you're ready to go. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you think you were safe here?
Yes! Let's make our steak. I'm so good, I surprised myself. with mama. <laughs> we got the co- Oh, shit. It's booby-trapped. Again? I'm getting really tired of diffusing these things. Cut the pink wire. Got it. Fucking fucks. They nearly blew us up again. I say we return the fucking favor. Hells yeah! I got the codex. Let's get this bomb to the bridge. It's hot! Hoof it! We got the Codex, planted a bomb, and are gonna get away clean on our own helicopter. Now that's a statement. Hey, Kev. Did we just trap ourselves on a boat with a live bomb and a bunch of angry idols? Hell. Yeah. <laughs> that one had to hurt. Six collective members down. We should probably get out of here before our bomb blows up. Reckon so. Ah, oh, shit. Holy shit. Just keep your head down and run. Don't get too close to the flames and you'll be fine. Oh! Grab that speedboat. Shove the codex in the watertight compartment. I'll drive. Oh. Things got a little cuckoo over there. Seriously. Why does stuff like that keep happening to us? I don't know. Prison rides, derailing trains. It's almost enough to make you question your whole way of... Look out! Idols on jet skis with machine guns! Let's fuck them up! Hells yeah! I'm gonna head for home. You give them a reason not to follow us. Yeah. Let's do this. Codex is ours, assholes. Oh! 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 
You still haven't learned not to fuck with the saint? Good now. So, what were we saying? Huh? When? Just now, before the jet skis and stuff. Um, probably that we were awesome. Stole the codex and fucked up the collective HQ. Yeah, I'm sure that was it. Talk about a goddamn statement. Hells yeah, partner. Hells yeah. Who messes with the Saints? No one! I said, who messes with the Saints? No one! You're goddamn right, no one. The Saints starting to flash in the pan. We're here to stay. <laughs> the four of us founded the Saints, but it belongs to all of us. It belongs to anyone who dreams of making something of themselves and are fucking tired of the world trying to hold them back. Life is hard enough without having to deal with middle managers with no discernible talent telling you how to do your job. Without having to deal with assholes who've had every opportunity handed to them but never had to fucking work for a single one of them. Without being told that your time will come. You just have to wait. Be patient. Well, let me tell you something. We're fucking done waiting. We all did the work. Now it's time for us to reap the benefits. Kev, I think it's time you throw us a hell of a party. Setting up for the party. The word on the street is the idols are in total disarray now that we've blown up their yacht. Them anarchists are in a state of chaos, eh? Who'd have seen that coming? Looks like they've mostly gone to ground. For now, anyway. Might be a good time to move in on their turf. I don't believe all that hollow work. Kev just showed up with the party supplies. Want to lend a hand with decorating? Sure. How can I say no to streamers? Do you think we have enough crate paper? Come again? Crate paper. Do we have enough? <clears throat> it's crepe paper with a P. Really? Yeah, really. Sorry, folks. Party's over. Who the fuck are you? Chet Drummond, Marshal General Counsel. The Saints are now a wholly owned subsidiary of Marshal Defense Industries. Ha! <laughs> uh, no. The employment agreement you signed when we hired you contained a non-compete clause. I signed a lot of shit. I didn't actually read it. Not our problem. 
by attacking Marshall interests, to wit, the Frontier Prison, our cargo train, and various other assets, you became a competitor. So, what's your fucking point? Pursuant to Article 9, Section 12, Paragraph 36A, you have surrendered all rights and ownership of the Saints to us. Eli? Oh my god, he's right. Of course I'm right. I wrote the fine print myself. You are aware that didn't solve the issue, right? Yeah, but he was being a dick. Atticus thinks we're gonna roll over while he takes what we built? Fuck that. I'm declaring all-out war on that asshole. Hell yeah! It's a revolution! I'll rally the troops. Tell everyone to meet us there. You know Marshall won't fight this kind of war. He'll fight a war of red tape. I need to think this out. I have thought it out. I'm gonna fucking kill Atticus. Saw that coming. But that won't solve our problem. It'll solve my anger. This is a binding legal document. You can't just shoot your way through it. Maybe we try using our words this time. Fine. I'll call Atticus and tell him why I'm going to fucking kill him. A step in the right direction. You have called Marshall Defense Industries. Please listen to the menu options as they have recently changed. What do I press to speak to a person? For customer service, press 1. For billing, press 2. For the complaints department, press 3. Finally. All of our operators are currently busy. To leave a callback number, press 1. To leave a message, press 2. To leave a death threat, press 3. Fuck you, press 3. Sorry, that inbox is full. Goodbye. Don't ride words. Back to murder. Murder can't solve everything. You shut your mouth. I'm just saying we'll need to use our heads to get out of this one. This is more complicated than our usual shit. Look, let's just kill Atticus first so everyone can calm down and then you can think of a real solution. Sounds like a win-win. You know, except for Atticus. But fuck him. Am I right? Wow, you know you two are being enablers right now. Looks like the gang's all here. We're here. Let's bust in and make our way to the top floor. That's where shithead's office is. Saints don't belong to you! I'm so good, I surprised myself. our criminal empire back! Much as I'd love to see Atticus fight his own battles for once, that is not a style. Then we take the elevator straight to him. Copy that. Stay safe.
I don't know what to do to Atticus first. Punch him in the face or kneecap him. You could just shoot him. No, I want to draw this out. Make him feel it, you know? Curb stomping? Kind of a pain to haul him outside. None of that will help our cause. You know that, right? Then what will? We could tie it up in court. In court? We're criminals. Not in Marshall's books. I'm sure they'll list us as a corporate acquisition. Play it right and we could drag this out for years. We ain't waiting years. Except for in this fucking elevator. Seriously, what the fuck? What happened? Why'd we stop? Security locked down. We're hoofing it from here. Welcome to Marshall Defense Industries. through this way. We're not actually getting through. Welcome to Marshall Legal. Shit, it's a trap. There's snipers on the upper floor. I should snipe them back. Oh. Down oh. to the camp. I'm so good, I surprised myself. Take those snipers out. Yeah. You go on. I'll make sure no one follows you. Hey, if you get any downtime, search the legal files for documents on the acquisition. Welcome to Marshall Research and Development. Ah! Key card required. Damn, it's locked. Looks like this elevator's the only way up. So let's go. Check the desks. Someone always leaves their key card at work. Why can't I just shoot it? That's not how it works. I told you, you can't just shoot your way through all your problems. Fine, no key card here. Get us a door Welcome to Marshall's Research and Development. <laughs> Not seeing a key card. There is an incoming call from Atticus Marshall. So did you really think you could just waltz into my building and take your little safe back? <laughs> this 
this assault is nothing more than an effort. You go in. Shoot whomever you like. I'll rehire. Destroy the whole fucking building. I'll rebuild. And it won't change it. I'll still own you. Because I have more lawyers than you have bullets. In the end, I will win. I will always win. Ain't nothing here either. You're in deep shit now. Later, Gator. I surprised myself. This fella has a key card. See? I told you so. You told me I'd find one in a desk. I had to murder this guy to get it. I guess we're both right. Shall we go? Welcome to the Marshall Executive Floor. Intruders located. Putting them down. Well, shit. Now we're half. Oh. Read the world. Your ivory tower is gonna fall. <laughs> Privilege in here. Oh. Weapon cyber. Oh. That pack he's wearing is powering the gun. I'm coming for you, you old bastard. Bring in the reinforcer. Moving up. Eli, I'm coming. Back up. Get in. Here. They deserve that. and shoot the pack.
Atticus' last stand? You go on. I'll see if I can find anything useful in here. Suit yourself. I am coming, motherfucker! Atticus, you son of a bitch. Wait, Myra Star? Didn't take you long to get up here. You are a plucky one. Where's Atticus? Oh, he turned tail and flew away the second you entered the lobby. I told him this whole Saints business would bite us in the ass, but he never listens. Then give us back the Saints. As chair of the board, I could. Only problem is Atticus holds that title. That man has been a bee in my bonnet for a long time. How about we help each other out? Fine. Tell me where he is and I'll kill him. Now, not so fast. You kill Atticus and his seat on the board will pass to his next of kin, who won't help you. Then I'll kill them too. And then their kin, and then theirs. The Marshall family is large and ornery. They'll never help you. But you help me vote him off the board, and I'll scratch your back real good. So... how do we do that? If you make Atticus look bad enough, our company's stock price will tank. Shareholders will panic, and the board will have no choice but to change leadership. That's when I'll take over and give the Saints back to you. All right, you got yourself a deal. Marshall is getting ready to host its annual expo. It'll be the perfect time to take Atticus down. Are you ready? Past ready. I'll let you know when we're in position. Good. I left you a thumb drive at a dead drop. You'll need the override codes on it. Got the thumb drive. Myra, it's me. The crew's all set. Fantastic. Atticus will be unveiling Marshall's new AI-powered tank at our expo today. You're going to steal the tank and cause mayhem in the city. And how does that get Atticus fired? A public debacle like this will cause Marshall's stock value to plummet. Once the board loses enough money, they'll drop Atticus like a two-ton turkey. All right, team, we are go. What's your status? I tailed Atticus to the expo. He's getting ready to give a press conference. Good. I want his reaction on film. Who's next? I'm the Hanging Claws. They're ready to help us hack into the Marshall tank. Have them limber up them fingers. Eli? I'm more comms. I'm watching the market, and I've already shorted the stock. Don't know what that means, but it sounds good. I'll go get the tank and start blowing shit up. I'm here. You'll need physical access to the tank, so do something... You wish to lure it out. Hey, asshole! Your security sucks! I could do something me-ish with that APC tank. Not so good 
I surprised myself. <laughs> Good, I surprised myself. your weapons. You have 30 seconds to comply. They've deployed the tank. Great. Now get in the cockpit. What? You need to put the thumb drive in the control port. And at this point, it's probably safer inside than out. I'm in. Now what? Insert Myra's thumb drive with the override codes and you'll be good to go. What is happening? That was easy. Guess Marshall never thought one of their big wigs would help to boost one of their tanks. All right. Now that everyone thinks you're Marshall's state-of-the-art AI tank, go forth and destroy. Does it matter what I blow up? Whatever can be blown up should be blown up. The more public, the better. There's a strip mall near you that will make a good target. This is the best day ever. It feels like the 4th of July. This is cathartic. Keep doing what you're doing. The stock market is starting to take notice. That one had to hurt. Nina, what's Atticus doing? Is he pissing his britches? Press is starting to turn up the heat. Here, listen. Our goal at Marshall is to remove human error when it comes to the public safety. Then how do you respond to reports of a rogue tank wreaking havoc in the city? I say let a Marshall AI tank step in and stop it. How do you respond to reports that the rogue tank is in fact a Marshall AI tank? Oh, false accusations. I'm gonna sue you. 
your paper, and your entire fucking family. <laughs> They're pulling him off stage. Oh, he looks pissed. Shit! What is it? Stock price is going up. Why? I'm destroying their reputation. Probably because the stock price is so low. Someone must be buying it Okay. Get your hacker buddies to find out who it is. Give us a sec. And it's Wes Paulson, owner of the Smelters football team. Yep. He's about to regret his decisions. I'm gonna go blow the hell out of that fucking smelter statue. Take out the smelter statue. <laughs> Find that stock you will drop that statue. That's for hijacking our stock scam. Good. I'm also to back off now. The stock should go back down. Uh oh. No problem here. I can shoot, can't move. Uh, looks like the drivetrain is overheating. We'll run a remote coolant flush, and you should be good to go. You uh guys wanna hurry up? Us, hurry up. It wouldn't have overheated if you weren't driving like a fucking rental. It's a simple fix. <sighs> hurry up. You should have stayed home. Fuck. And now the guns aren't working. You're good to go. Thank you. I'm going around to the front of the stadium to blow the shit out of this expo. Man, I really want to rub this in Atticus's face. Hey, Claude, pass that old fucker through. Hatching. Atticus, yo, old coot, what's up? What do you want? No, I don't have time for this. Because of that Marshall tank busting up the city. What do you know about that? Oh, it's me. What? Yeah, we hacked the tank. It's been me the whole time. You son of a bitch! When I get my hands on you! You won't, because I'm in your tank. Motherfucker! They deserve that. Buy something nice. Buy something? No, 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 no. We're reinvesting. I trust you. Buy low, sell high. You know what's low and guaranteed to go high when Myra Starr takes over? Marshall stock. Okay, as long as I get a cut. Myra, you actually did it. Myra, glad you like my work. Now, how's about we finish off? Come to my office and we'll sign the paperwork. What the hell do you think you're doing? You're just in time for the vote. You think you could fire me? My family built this business. My name is on the goddamn building! Our stock price is rock bottom and our shareholders want your head. It's the Saints! They exposed the frontier. They robbed my train. They ruined my good name! We've done the risk assessment, and you are a liability. Bullshit! This company's nothing without me! The motion is to terminate Atticus Marshall and appoint me chair of the board. All in favor? All opposed? You have a tie. Now what are you gonna do? Let's ask the tiebreaker. Atticus Marshall, you are fired. Get your hands off me! You haven't heard the last of Atticus Marshall! Yes, I'm sure we'll hear you hollering all the way down to the lobby.
You held up your end of the deal. And now, so have I. The Saints are all yours. Thanks. We made a good team. Don't go mistaking us for friends. This was business. You interfere with Marshall again, and you'll get the horns. Looks like Myra Starr is as good as her word. We got the paperwork officially signing the Saints back over to us. Plus, it looks like she's pulling back on Marshall's military escalation. All those checkpoints on the west side have cleared out. Guess we really scared them off. More likely the bad press was starting to build up. Even in this country, you can't militarize a city that much without pissing people off. Dan, there's no truck here. What do you mean there's no truck? Are you at the right place? Yeah, there's a busted up barrel and some green stuff, but no truck. I don't know what to tell you. It's gotta be around there somewhere. <sighs> Fine, I'll have a look around. Don't touch the green stuff. Dan, it's me. Found the truck. Oh, that's great. Bring her on in. This transport fee better be worth it. Oh, trust me, we got a sweetheart deal. The barrels don't seem very secure back there. Yeah, you gotta be super, super careful. That shit is volatile. But as long as the barrels don't leak, you're fine. And what if they leak? Then you better haul ass on down here so we can dump those barrels fast. Either that or say your prayers, I guess. That was not my fault. Right view to disposal. Just lost a barrel. Well, you better step on it then. Coming in hot, so be ready. right there, boss. Those orders keep rolling in. I'll update the map with all the new locations. You reckon it's safe to have all that toxic waste out there? <laughs> oh, no, not at all. That stuff can turn people into radioactive homicidal maniacs. Be careful out there.
take away or you regret it. If this is a great country, why are there laws against All this load to the dump. for the whole. No car for you. Socialize. Keep it up. Slow and steady. Doing 
Somebody needs to look up in that cat. Steady. soon. One day you'll laugh about this. Excuse me while I get the fuck out of your face. I got places to be! Not again. Gotta find that truck. I have a bad feeling about this.
be damned. You're killing it out there, boss. Better to kill it than be killed, I reckon. Ain't that the truth? I totally thought you'd have blown yourself up by now, or turned into some kind of jelly monster. Anyway, keep those trucks rolling in. Lots more out there. At least you have your health. I am not a... I've been thinking. Now that the Saints are a real organization, I feel like I should have a better understanding of, you know, all the basic skills involved in day to day operations. You betcha. And that means. I was hoping you could teach me to shoot. Oh, sure can do. Meet me at the old quarry. I set us up a kick ass practice range. Hey, wow. Eli, you set this range up yourself? Yep. I didn't have any clay pigeons, so I had to make do with what I could find. Nice. What weapon is you going to use? Oh, I'm more of a book learner. I've done some research already. I just wanted to watch you, ask questions, and take notes. That's not really how you learn to shoot. Hey, everybody learns differently. Now, the first thing I saw in my research was that stance is very important. Sure. You gotta have a stance. So what's a good stance? I mean, this? I can't describe it, I just do it. Watch. Damn! Yeah, I get it. Next, my research said, keep your eyes open when you shoot? Sure. I like to pretend there's a little white dot or crosshairs on whatever I'm shooting at. And then I just aim for it, like this. Damn, yeah, I get it. What about breath control? I read a lot about exhaling when you pull the trigger. And the guy, Eli, in a big firefight, I pay no attention to how I'm breathing. I just, well, look. Oh, and my research said to squeeze the trigger instead of pulling it? What the fuck's the difference? There's just a feel to it. Look. see a certain squeeze quality. Nice. 
Hey, what's up with those trucks? Looks like Marshall. Uh... Reagan, we're near one of their Black Ops sites. Trespassers on Marshall land will be shot! Grab a gun! Hey! Hey! I got one! Good job, pal! See what I mean about the dot thing? That's right, break. assholes! You're the training yeah, exercise! You're, a fair game now. you're doing great, Eli! This is our piece of abandoned dirt! Hey, I'm pretty good at this! This is what we call a target-rich environment. Woo! More trucks coming. Let's take it. Ah, this may be a tad much for a beginner. Get in the car. You drive. I'll do the covering fire from the uh, roof thing. Wait, that's not... Oh, boy. Whoa, 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 whoa! Don't, Don't let them let escape. escape. How do you aim like this? Get, get back here and face, face the music. music. What am I doing? We won't get away with our training secrets. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you better run. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Yeah, you're fair game now. Should have got the roof rack. <sighs> Keep breathing. Keep breathing. I'm gonna puke. was maybe a, a bit more hands-on learning than I was hoping for. Hey, no, you did great out there. I guess next time I'm in a tight spot like that idols party, I can slow them down. But I think I'll leave the car roof shit to you from now on. Hey, uh, when you got a minute, I could use your help with a personal problem. Sure. Everything okay? It's better if I tell you in person. So meet me at the hobby store. I'm just finishing up a supply run. Hey, Eli. Holy shit, what are you wearing? Should I be concerned? Well... The dust moot event is upon us, and I need to join a house if I want to see the best action. Were those real words? What's a dust moot? Get in the car and I'll tell you on the way. Okay. The dust moots to citywide LARP I do every year. I applied to join House Dust Storm, but they said I don't have enough to explain. Slow down there, pal. What the fuck's a LARP? Live action role play. Oh, like wizards and shit. Well, the dust mood is more of a um, post-apocalyptic meets Knights of the Round Table kind of thing. And you want to join House Dust Storm, which is a building? Think of it like a team. Ah, but they won't let you join, so you want me to bust some heads. No, I just need someone to grind with. Don't we all? Not like that. Like grinding for XP, so we help? Fine. Okay. First things first. Let's get you suited up. What's wrong with my current duds? Thou lookest like a knave in thy garments. And real weapons are forbidden on pain of banishment. Why are you talking like that? I'm in character. But never fear. I know the best place to procure weapons and armor. all this amazing material they just threw out. Well, I see your cardboard and fabric remnants. Exactly. Mm. Smarter, smart not enough. harder.
Now, to don thy armor. Let's don away. Great. I'll just put this here, that there, and done. Your first LARP outfit. I had to use the last of my duct tape, but it was worth it. At least it's comfortable. Here, this is the LARP weapon I used when I started out. I like to pass it on to you. Oh, thank thee? Try it out. Shoot someone. Um, okay. See? The whole city plays the dust move. If they die a worthy death, they get on with their day. Weird, but cool. Now you're ready to play. Let's go join House Dust Storm. Why ain't I ever heard of this LARP stuff before now? I have no idea. You never heard Gwen Terrio talk about it? Wait, Gwen plays this? My old CO Gwen? Yeah, she runs House Phoenix. Wait, she never mentioned it? LARP is like the only thing that gives her life meaning. I've got money on her winning the whole event. So, it would really ruffle her feathers if we won. We, what, win it? Yeah, that would get to her. I hope it's not too late to change my bet. Well, then I'm 100% in. Great. Now, promise me you'll honor the rules of the dust world. Yeah, of course. No claiming that the other players missed you when their attacks actually hit. No problem. No actual killing of players. <sighs> Fine. Fine? Yes, deal, okay? Your game, you're really taking the fun out of it. We need to head off road here. Now thou must face the warriors of House Tapeworm. House what now? Tapeworm. What happened to Dust Storm? We're gonna set a Tapeworm beacon on fire. Then Dust Storm will have to let us join. Ugh, this game requires strategy. Why don't I just shoot whoever ain't you? Shoot? LARP shoot. There they are. Let's part and walketh on foot. Do mine eyes deceive me? What brings Elijah the Wise to the land of Tapeworm? Seek ye to join with the Great Worm? Nay, I am here on behalf of House Duststorm. <laughs> Lies. We know thou art houseless. Duststorm shall welcome us with open arms once we torch thy beacon. Yeah, on guard, shitlords. We shall take you down. Oh, no! I'm so good, I surprised myself. Reloaded. Now we light the beacon on fire and await Tape Worm's arm response. Hell yeah! for my character. My kingdom for a horse. Speaking of blaze, now we just need to inform Fort Duststorm. We could do that, or we could start our own house. Be thine own lord. Sounds nice, but we need to build a fort first. So we build a fort. With what? Tapeworm bought all the duct tape in the city to keep people from doing exactly that. It's a cheap move, but technically legal. So we storm their fort and take their supply. Really? Verily. What would we call our house? 
We need a good name, something inspiring. House Sand something. House Sandy Kraken, yes. What? Seriously? We're Sandy Kraken. I have spoken. It is memorable. Holy shit, that's a nice place. Yeah, and impossible to get in unnoticed. We could get them to invite us in. That's genius. Let me do the talking. Oh, who goes there? Tis I, Elijah the Wise, and... Quick, wh what's your character's name? I don't know. And Bosonius the Bloody. What business had we here? I wish to... to join with the Great Worm. Huzzah! Thou hast seen reason and rejected the ways of the dust storm? Aye, they are dicks, and I shall rejoice when they are crushed. Enter, friend. We shall watch their destruction together. All right, now just play it cool until I give the signal. Wait for it. Wait for it. Attack! Your four just got preggers. Treachery! Dead as a doornail. My comrades will avenge me. One moment! One Your walls shall fall before me! My time on this world has ended! The Great Worm's treasure hoard must be close. Check on yonder pedestal. Just ammo, no duct tape. Then we must search the ruins of this fort. Why is there a box of bottle caps? Huzzah! You have found quite the fortune. Hey, Eli, what's this 299 stuff? Tis but a microtransaction. Check thine coin purse for funds. Mimic? Hmm. Don't fucking touch that! That's not loot! Okay, calm down. I won't touch it. Not seeing any duct tape, Eli. The loot must be in the belly of the great tapeworm itself. You must slay the beast to retrieve the treasure. That's the rules. Oh. <laughs> I shall enter through its gullet. And I shall wait here, for I am claustrophobic. <laughs> <laughs> 
To kill the beast, you must burst the polyps inside. Polyps? I can't tell if that's disgusting or awesome. I think they did it for Colon Cancer Awareness Month, and then it just stuck. So good, I surprised myself. My time on this world has ended. Home with Mama. Rosebud. I don't want to die. I hope this battle scarred you. I see the treasure. Gator. This is a shit ton of duct tape. Pow, pow. Now, fell beast, void me from thy fundament. Got the duct tape? I guess we're gonna create our own house. Aye. Together we shall burn Gwen and House Phoenix into ash and have a fun bonding experience right yes that too Hey, did you bring the packages in? What packages? The ones by the front door. Shit, I think someone stole them. Oh, fuck no. I'll be right there. Kevin, what the hell happened? I got a delivery notification text with a picture of some packages by the door, but by the time I went to get them, they were gone. The mail carrier can't be far. Let's track them down and see what happened. Can I help you? You just delivered packages to the old mission church. What happened to them? One of your people took them. Some fella wearing pink. Pink? What the fucking idols? They stole our shit. Which way'd they go? They ran off over there. that we order anyway. Maybe it's my Crucifix workout DVD? I want to get me some Jesus abs. I hate workout fans. Hey, fuckers! Give us back our boxes! They're our boxes now, asshole! Where are the haters now? Huh? Boxes for 
full of knives. Oh, right. It's them knives Nina and I ordered off that uh, infomercial. I hope the number of knives isn't a measure of how upset you were. What? No. The guy on TV was just a damn good salesman. Come to think of it, there should be way more boxes than this. They might be nearby. Let's check the alley. Should be fine. I am not waiting for it. Woo! Hey! Where the hell are my boxes? Fuck you, boxes! Where are my FBs? I've been waiting for you assholes to bring me my nugs! Why don't we check the FBs? Nugs do sound good. So, uh, why'd you buy so many knives? I mean, this seems a bit excessive. Eh, retail therapy. You look for something to make you feel better, one knife leads to another, and boom, you've got a boatload of knives. Fuck. I'm... I'm sorry I made you guys so mad. I, I didn't mean to... Whoa, whoa, Kip. We were never mad at you. We are just upset about the situation. Also, we really like knives. We even got you one. Yeah, this ain't all of them. Seriously? I guess there's an idol's hangout we can check out. Join this car. I think that's all the knives we ordered. Look, Kev, that one's for you. Oh my god, is that an Oni chef's knife? You guys are the best. <laughs> Hell yeah! What? Hey, you busy? I need your help in something. It's really important. I'm here. What's up? We need to get over to FB's ASAP. They're re-releasing the Mecha Burger. The what? The toy. Don't you remember? It looks like a hamburger, but turns into a robot. Limited edition re-release. Let's go.
You know, I think I had a Mecca Burger back in the day. Everybody had one the summer I was nine. It was the most popular kids' meal toy FB's ever produced. And you want to relive your childhood? Sure, no problem. Oh, shit. Do you think they're all here for the Mecca Burger? Don't matter if they are. We could just muscle up to the head of the line. Welcome to FB's. Can I take your order? Uh, yes. Hi. May I please have a chicken brat box meal with a Mecca Burger toy? In purple, if you have it. We're out of Mecca Burgers. Shit. Well, there's another FB's in Marina del Lago. Let's try there. Come mierda! The Marinas FBs is also out. The next closest is a Mercado. And there are two in the flats, but we should try Mercado first. Dude, why is it so important to get a new one of these? Oh, I didn't have an old one. I never got one when I was a kid. It came out when I was in foster care. Oh, right. Let's get you a fucking Mecca Burger. What the hell are the idols doing here? Being pretentious anarchists and getting in everybody's way. What else? Well, they're between me and my kids' toy, so let's fix that. Get my Mecca Burger. Hey, a friend here needs a chicken kids meal with a Mecca Burger toy in purple. They're all gone. Those horrible people in pink stole the entire shipment. They said something about striking a blow against capitalistic materialism and soggy french fries. Fucking idols. They really are a bunch of thugs. Taking joy from children. Fuck children. They took joy from you. Buckle up. There they are. Get them to pull over. Not sure whether to ram or shoot. Whatever. Just don't blow up the delivery car. There. You are now the proud owner of 500 limited edition Mecha Burgers. Nah, I just want one. 
And maybe sometime you could help me bring the rest down to the county orphanage? Absolutely. I wonder if I still have that old Santa Claus costume somewhere. Ain't that costume got a shirt? Not when I wear it, baby. I need a favor. Can you drive me around and pretend to be my chauffeur this afternoon? Wait, you want me to drive one of your cars? I gotta be classy today. Now that I've got money, I'm gonna buy some art from the kind of collectors who have chauffeurs. Come pick me up at the museum. I've been doing some research so I can blow them away. Be right there. So, what are we buying? Three Noshoni Fisher pieces. She's my hero. She made these amazing whimsical sculptures, sheet metal welded over steel frames. I promised myself that if I ever had money, I'd buy some of her work. Yeah! Okay, now keep quiet. I'm gonna call the first collector. Hello. Ah, good afternoon. I told you're the owner of a Nishoni Fisher original. Surprise. Huh? It's a big metal apple with a rattlesnake coming out of it. Ah, uh, that piece of junk. Well, I'm a huge fan of the artist and can make you a very attractive offer. <laughs> there is no amount of money in the world you could offer me for that. <laughs> My ex-husband bought it as an investment, and it drives him nuts that I got it in the divorce. You cannot buy that kind of spite. <laughs> but... she hung up on me. Well, you could just take it. I don't want to take it. I want to buy it. This is my chance to be part of the art world. Legit. Look. If she didn't want to sell because she actually loved it, it'd be one thing. She don't even like it. You do. How come she gets to keep it despite you? I mean, I guess art is meant to be appreciated. Okay, let's get it. Oh, no way that fits in the trunk. We're gonna have to tow it. Ah, it is made out of steel. Just drive careful, okay? This is not how I expected my first big art purchase to go. Get the next one, and this time we'll do it right. Yes, hi. I understand you're the owner of a Nishoni Fisher piece, Music of the Desert, the cactus statue. Yes, well, like yourself, I am a collector of fine art, and I would like to buy the piece from you. I'm prepared to pay what it's worth. Oh, I don't need the money, hun. I I'm sure you don't, but. But I do need the cactus. Oh, it makes a great place to hang the kids' swimsuits on summer days. Uh, sorry. What the fuck? She's gonna rust out the frame hanging wet shit on it. That's not how you treat art. So, we'll be taking this one? <sighs> Looks like. Oh, it 
it's all rusted out, just like I thought. I'll need to be extra careful driving or it'll fall apart. It doesn't matter if it's Dead as a doornail. Down, one to go. This time, we do it right for sure. Heidi, Heidi. Yes, hello. I understand you're the owner of a Nishoni Fisher piece, Moon River. It's a cow. Wait, what? That thing? Oh my god. Me and my sorority sisters stole it from outside the Santo Aliso Community Center in college. I was so drunk, I threw up on it. Oh, fuck it. We're stealing this one, too. This piece is really fragile. Try not to destroy it on the way home, okay? We interrupt your broadcast with this breaking news. The art thieves terrorizing Monte Vista have been spotted fleeing the area with a large metal cow in tow. Okay, good news. Good part of the artwork. Bad news has our Fuck that. We are art liberators. Now drive. This cow handles it's like a turd. Fuck off, my friend wants this cow. Look, Nina, pigs chasing the cow. Get it? It'll survive the journey. Oh, they're not chasing us anymore. They don't want a war with the saints over some asshole's cow. Damn sorry that didn't go down the way you wanted. Nah, those people weren't really art collectors. They were just assholes. I'll make it into the art world for real soon enough. At least I've got the Fisher pieces I always wanted. And I'm gonna treat them right. I mean, once I repair all the damage, we did liberating them. Far is Jim Robbs. Jim Robbs. I got you that hammerhead. All right. Just leave it there on the side. What else you need? The idols have an off-road buggy they call the Desert Devil. Can you get that for me? I've seen them riding northeast of town around the mesas. If it's out there, I'll find it.
start the problem. I'll take this over to JR. I'm sorry, did we hit something? More ammo! It's your car, I guess. Were you aiming for it? They deserve that. Fuck this. Do you actually have a license? I'm out. Here's your buggy. Much obliged. What's next? How about an attrazione? That's not an easy car to find. Well, it just so happens I got a particular one in mind. Belongs to Levi Marshall. Marshall is in Atticus? His nephew. That little turd caused me grief to no end during his summer internship. He's a student at that fancy art school in Marina del Lago. Gotcha. I'll check the parking lot next time I'm over there. Obviously can't run. You must be Barb. And you must be Kevin's friend. Shall we get started? Right now? Where's your crew? No crew. Just us. That's so. Don't worry. I've got it all worked out. You wait in the car while I grab the jewelry. Then I drive us out. So you're robbing the store and you're the getaway driver? What am I doing? I can't drive and shoot at the same time. I need you to ride shotgun. Well, as far as plans go, I've seen worse. Let's do it. I got you covered. Let's go. You okay? Never felt better. Got the jewelry? It's in the bag. Have a look for yourself. I'll take your word for it. The cops will be on us soon. Whoa, Nelly, here they come. Hang on. Right, you're very good at this. What's our plan, Barb? We'll take a left up here at Taft, then another left at the library, then we'll cut across the park to Canal and Lattimore. That puts us right back where we started. I know. I took a wrong turn at the 78, so we have to come back around. The 78? What are you talking about? I got excited. I went right instead of left. Barb, when a plan goes to hell, just improvise. That's what I'm doing! If only...
only Cressida and Daphne could see me now. Jesus, this car is all messed up. It belongs to my husband. He's on the city council. Does he know about your hobby? Oh, no. That's our little secret. Hate to say it, but the car might be a giveaway. Don't worry. I'll deal with him soon enough. Unexpected. <clears throat> that wasn't there before. like we're in the clear. Shall I drop you off somewhere? Nah, right here's fine. So badass. A new fortress arises, a stronghold forged from the mightiest duct. All shall fall under the shadow of our new house, Sandy Kraken. School thyself in the mysteries of the prophecy. Here our destiny is foretold in the writing of the ancients. Herodor the Sage is master of law and wise counselor. He paveth our road to victory. Heed his smart word. Hail, Bosonius! Lore Master, we seek your counsel. The Kraken shall sit upon the dusty throne. So says the prophecy. Then I shall attack the Dust King. Patience, Bosonius. We must first gather strength. I will not cower behind these walls. We shall attack, and our courage will draw the bravest warriors to our cause. A bold plan. But how? We lit the beacon of House Tapeworm and defeated their armies in battle. Could we not do the same to the Phoenix and the Dust Storm? Aye, it is as you say. Then let us find their beacons, and light them, and prove we are worthy of the prophecy. Just a milkshake, all right? The supermarket freaks me out. Too many choices.
Nice to see you. All right, check it out. Shady Oaks Medical Clinic. Now I know what you're thinking. None of us have medical degrees, but that's okay. Because the whole thing is a front, see? We just have to look legit enough for insurance companies to pay us lots of money for fraudulent claims. Now here's my friend Tamira. She knows all the angles of the insurance game. Go talk to her, and she'll help us get the ball rolling. Howdy, Tamira. You ready to get to work? Sure am. My automated claim generation code is ready for beta testing. What's that now? It produces fake records and documents based on real-world data. It should be good enough to fool the fraud detection algorithms. That sounds really complicated. How about I just throw myself in front of cars and trucks? And the harder they hit me, the more money we get? Sure, if you want to die. With my system, all we got to do is push a button. How about I do insurance fraud my way and you do it your way? You're the boss. Just be careful out there. Castle Kraken? Loremaster, the beacon of the dust storm is ablaze. Armies of the Dust King shall soon be upon thee. Lead us to victory!
that one had to hurt. This would be my flight response. I hope this battle scarred you. I must reload. Later, Gator. Sonius, the Dust King wishes to parlay. We shall hear him out. Hello. Dust King here. We commend you on your victory, Sandy Kraken. Verily, we thank thee. You have proven yourselves worthy. Now, it is time to bend the knee and swear your fealty to our throne. That fancy chair is going to be mine, dickhead. You're going down. in line and do your worst. I found the beacon of House Phoenix. The fire is lit. Legions of the Phoenix are on the march. Hold the line and strike true. Escape from my eyes! <laughs> 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 
one. Spread my ashes in a drop. Speak with her. This is Gwendolyn Firebird of House Phoenix. I congratulate you on your victory. Well said. I propose an alliance. Join our siege of Fort Thunderpump, and we shall crush the Dust King between us. Yeah, sorry, Gwen, no can do. What? Who the fuck is this? Come on. It hasn't been that long, has it? You! God damn it! Fuck with my job all you want, but stay out of my game! This is so... Hail Basonius! The strongest warriors of the Dustmoot now rally to our banners. The prophecy awaits. I'm digging this. Those Panteros needed a good kick in the butt. But they know every fashion trend. Sonius, the dust moot calls. I have discovered a way to defeat Quindon and fire. Huzzah! We shall finally win the crown and rub it in her ye old face. I have gathered our forces at the lookout. I shall be there forthwith. Gather round. I have questioned the Lore Keeper and found the greatest weapon in all the realms. The Bowel Rod. This is why you made me come here? I'm out. Wait, it's a car! Of, of a sort. You love cars! Hmm. Okay. This could be interesting. Huzzah! I have the perfect costume for you. Yes. Perfect. Let's put this here. I would like the record to show the extent to which I humor my friends. It hath been noted. Lead the way, Elijah the Wise. The call has been answered. House Sandy Kraken stands united against the vile Gwendolyn Firebird. She shall tremble before our collective might. Aye. But first, we must seek out the leader of House Tapeworm. She is the keeper of the Battle Rod, and we must pay her toll. Oh my god. What did I sign up for? Where shall we find this keeper? Well, I called Fort Tapeworm, but she wasn't there. She's at her house. And what price does she demand? A trade. 
The duct tape we liberated from Duct Tape Worm in exchange for their most sacred weapon. A sacrifice indeed. Aye, but worth it. And what is this bowel rod exactly? Tis a great worm that dwells below the desert wastes. The cry of the bowel rod is so mighty, the walls of Fort Thunder Pump shall crumble at its sound. I thought you said it was a car. For those who don't use their imagination, it is. Look, Nina, I thought it was fishy at first, too. But give LARP a chance. I promise it's worth it. Fine, let's go get this keeper's blessing. Greetings, Keeper of the Bow Rod. I am Bosonius of House Sandy Kraken. A new house? Good luck with that. Phoenix and Duststorm have this year locked up. You got my duct tape? It's in the trunk. Great! The Bow Rod's out back. What's your name, dear? Ninafer Letfoot. What? Okay. The Keeper of the Bow Rod gives Ninafer of House Sandy Kraken her blessing. Every day. Go forth and. Whatever. It's a van. Eli, I'm trying to use my imagination, but... What the hell? The deal was the duct tape for the worm. No one told you. Gwen wanted it out of the game, so she dismantled it. You could reassemble it by, I don't know, stealing the props back from House Phoenix, I guess. Then you just do the ritual and you should be good to go. It's all in the rules book in the glove box. Here are the keys. Mates, we go to Fort Phoenix to claim what is ours. Here, here. Now, in typical Gwen fashion, Fort Phoenix is a sprawling, overbuilt compound with a lot of armed guards. So I propose we use stealth. All right, we wait until nightfall. Come in downwind of them. Oh no, it's not complicated. You just drink a potion, cross your arms in front, and then boom, you're invisible. They won't just shoot me. They can. It's in the rules. What other rules do we need? To well, let's see. If you put your arms down, you see. So, that means if you use your weapon or do a melee attack, you lose invisibility. Then how do I stealth attack? You can stealth melee as long as no one else sees you. But if you spot it, then your cover's blown. We're here. I've only got the one invisibility potion, so you'll have to go in alone. Drink up. Damn it. Heart rip. Hot damn, it's working. Later, Gator. Good punch. Ah! 
arrow to the face. Nuts and face. Knocking them down. Found the torso. Great. Meet me around back, and we'll go find the rest of it. All right. Can we go in guns blazing now? I'm with Ninafer. Not my name. That's such a Ninafer thing to say. Verily. Let's slip the dogs of war. No one expects Barsonians. <laughs> Dead as a doornail. I smite thee! Ah. No. I shall knock you out! Ow. Tell the afterlife Valsoni has sent you! Foam shotguns, too. Nice. I'll start putting this thing back together. You two. What? Thy manner of speaking is strange to my ears. Uh, I, Nina for a Ludfoot, shall conjure the bowel rod in our time of need. I'm so happy I could cry. Now, you two go get the last part. When will have the head somewhere safe? We shall search her key. <laughs> Alas, they sound the alarm. They know we are here. Greetings, Gwendolyn. Why am I seeing you on my fort security cameras? I thought I told you to leave my game alone. Your game. And here I figured it was everyone's game. Fuck you. You're doing this just to piss me off. I doth protest thy accusation. Good day. Motherfucker, did you hang up on me? I said good day. No, you listen here. I am on my way over there, and I'm gonna kick your ass for real at... Am I getting pulled over? I hope you're using hands-free. Bye-bye. Son of a... <clears throat> Parting is such sweet sorrow. Ugh! <laughs> 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 Was not wasted. Ow. The bow rod's head must be somewhere here. Wingsuited down to you. 
Fly, my friend. Get that to Nineveh. But what of you? You have no wingship. I shall draw the phoenix away to buy you more time. The bow rod is more important than me. Now go! The final piece. Use it. Hurry! Why? Where's Eli? He stayed behind that I might escape. We have to go back for him. But first, I shall conjure this fell beast. Holy of holy shits. Now what? Now we need to do the ritual to bring her to life. The instructions say we need a salt circle, so I use the bag of road salt from the trunk. You guys dead yet? The bow rod is nearly restored. Holy shit! You actually did it? Maybe. If our two houses work together, we'd actually stand a chance. Really? Join sides? Yeah, why not? <clears throat> when you besiege Fort Thunderpump, look to the horizon. Tapeworm will be there. I smite thee! Hey, Later, Gator. <laughs> Tell the afterlife Balsoni you said. I hit this over. Eklazif <clears throat> Huta. Sees Shodu a Sisht Wichu. Michu Re Wichu. That's verse one of how many? Damn it, we've got incoming. Cow! No one expects Bossonius. Where was I? Uh, oh, yeah. I, uh, yup, yup, Wichu Che. Dangar Eda. Dangar Eda. Rhoda sees Nutchin. Who wrote this shit? Oh, here they come again! I always thought I'd die of bubonic plague! character yet. Elijah, dost thou live? I live. I escaped from the fort, but Phoenix has me pinned down in a little shack. Hold fast. The bow rods are coming. No Sandy Kraken shall re-roll today. Howdy, howdy. You asshole. Do you know how much that ticket was? Too late, Firebird. Bow Rod lives. What? How did you? Sandy Kraken shall see you on the battlefield. No. Not so good. I surprised myself. Sisters, welcome me to your bosom. Elijah, thou art safe. Aye, thanks to Ninefer and thee. Hey, thou made it this far on your own. That's badass. True. And thou hast made one tricked out ride. No doubt. Now let's rev this bad girl up and go take the crown.
Balsonius, our spies report. House Phoenix is going to attack Castle Kraken. Gather the troops. I come at once. Overdrive. 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 Yo, you built this? It's like you created the fort of my childhood dreams. What's going on? I have gathered ye here to defend our home. Gwendolyn Firebird means to strike us at our heart. She can wreck everything we've built. But I will still defeat her. Wait, what? Gwen's trying to break your fort? Aye. She is a menace of the highest order. Not cool. How can I help? Huzzah! Our bard hath joined our side. All hail, DJ... Uh... Kvitikus! Hail, Kvitikus! Now, go forth and man our defenses. Sandy Kraken, I call thee out. I claim Castle Kraken in the name of House Phoenix. What? Gwendolyn fears to do it herself? She is busy assaulting Fort Thunderpump and has entrusted me to bring you to heel. She's going for the crowd today? I shouldn't have said that. Deal with these peons quickly. We must get to the crowd before her. Stayed home with mom. My life was not wasted. Ugh. Ow! I shall return thee to ash. Bang! I deserve that. for a horse. Eliminate them! Find the infiltrators! Arrow to the face. With a final breath, our hero dies. Should have stayed home with Mama. Phoenix is trying to tear the castle down. Traitors! Ah, I don't want to Man. die! Oh, that was dope! 
What's next? We beat Gwen to the crown. Get to the bowel rod. And then onward to battle. Bowel rod. Is this one of those games? No, no, it is not. <clears throat> onward to Fort Thunderpuff! Enjoy beating you down. Tell the Dust King I am here for his crown. None shall pass the gate of bones. Then we shall unleash the bow growl and blow your gate asunder. Your meager beast is no match for our superior defenses. We got plus 20 siege damage. What? How? The Horn of Condor. A nice addition by House Tapehorn last year. God damn it. Mm. <sighs> the gate of bones falls to the mighty roar. To the crown! Should have stayed home with my... From here we hoof it. So, why isn't this place called Fort Duststorm? All the other forts use the house name. They have corporate sponsors. Why don't we do that? We be not sellout bitches, DJ Kaviticus. The king must be in the keep. But how do we get over the walls? We have locked the bow rod to shatter the gate. Oh, oh, I know. We can use this ballista to fly us over the walls. Uh, we be but mortals, can. Also, that would really hurt. Come on. We do crazier stuff than that all the time. I don't. The ballista's busted, but I can fix it if you keep the heat off me. Dangerous to stay here too long. Don't rush me. Later, Larry, Gator. I'll scream. Pew, pew. We aren't being overwhelmed. I need more time. By the gods, are we lost? Tapeworm! Sandy Kraken does not stand alone! Tapeworm is here in your hour of need! Let this be the hour when we draw fake guns together. To the keep! Time for a melee at the end! Oh, I did that. that was Just need a, a ye old lug nut, and this will be fixed. Ah! Ready to launch. Huzzah! I'll find them if they kill I'm flying! I'm a die! 
rear in. No one withstands my rear assault. Hold on, I'm out of bullets. Not so fast, knaves. Is she just driving through the back way? That's cheating. Backstage shortcuts are against the rules. No more games. I am here for a purpose. To claim the crown that is rightfully mine. The crown will go to the one who taketh it. And that'll be me. We have strength in numbers! Ah! Oh! Take cover! Uh -huh. Saha! The battle for the crown! Crash thee all day. Thunk! Ah! Pow! Ah! Hey, that oh, one had to hurt. Ah! Now we're gonna see who's who. I shall rush them from behind! What are you doing? Get down! Ah! I hit you. You're dead. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Fucking prove it. Uh, whack! Uh, ah, I don't need firearms for you! I shall loose my might upon me! Whack! Pow! I know I got you that time, you're cheap! Anything to beat your ass! Dead as a doornail. My death. This is it. Enough. This ain't you, Gwen. What happened to the anal retentive, by the book, ass kicking buzzkill that I kind of respect? A little. Sometimes. God damn it. You're right. How did I fall this far? Girl, you make me so crazy! Dang, I didn't mean to break you. If the crown means that much to you, take it. Don't fucking patronize me. You won this time. I'll take that crown off you next year. Oh, I'm not going anywhere. Victory is mine. To the Thunder Pump throw room! No, please! I'll give you anything! Riches! Power! Just name your price! I come for your crown. You? A min-maxing knave? Never! The king is dead. Long live me. Move. So, are you gonna buy anything? One chocolate milk and a packet of beef jerky.
Hey, our crew just finished a job. You wanna go with me to get our cut? Sure, meet you at the church. Hey, our crew just finished a job. You wanna go with me to get our cut? Sure, meet you at the church. One of our crews just pulled off an armored truck heist. They're splitting up the cash. Stealing insured money, my favorite victimless crime. Let's go get our piece. Remember when we had to pull our own heist to pay rent? Yep, feels like it was last week. Seems like cheating. Our crew does all the work and we sit back and collect. Train the crew. We did. And who has the crew's back if they screw up? We do. Exactly. We earned the right to sit back and collect money. Yeah, you're right. I guess we've hit the big time. There they are. Stole an armored truck and busted it open? Good job. Thanks. Your training video on the weak points of different models really helped. Well, preparation is the key. Eli taught me that. Wiped the prints yet? Twice. So even sprayed it with air freshener, just in case they bring in dogs. I like the thoroughness. Got the money divided and bagged up. Here's your share. Cops found us. Let's show them how the Saints do it. Did they send the entire precinct? This is a lot of heat for one armored car. Fight as a team. We'll draw the cops after us. The rest of you scatter. Nina, grab that armored truck. Nice. That should keep their attention on us. Deserve that. Whoa, 
Outside the Santo Ileso police station. I'll make this quick. The Santo Ileso PD has identified a new menace plaguing the streets of our city, known as. Holy shit, that's us! The Purple Shirt Mafia. What? That's not our name! As of today, they are public enemy number one, which is why I'm creating a special task force to bring these criminals to heel. Task force? Holy shit, we really have hit the big time. Uh, you do realize this is gonna be a huge problem, right? Ah, they can't even get our name right. How much trouble can they be? We'll see. Nobody can stop the saints. Nice to see you. All right, so here's the plan. We open a monster taqueria and call it Chalupa Cabra. But we don't just sell food. We take over the entire drug distribution network in Santo Ileso. Here, it's all about the food trucks. My friend Chuy knows the business inside and out. And he makes a killer michelada. He'll show you how it works. All the traffic in town moves through four trucks. Weenie, Twisty, Sammy, and the King. Nothing a few rockets and a Molotov can't fix. True. Or we could steal each truck and all its product and put it to work for us. Even better. Where do these guys roll? I've got Jimmy following the King right now. I'll put you in touch. They really took Los Panteros down the Shady Oaks Medical Clinic. You know what? I found a great spot to fake some injuries. You know you don't have to do this, right? Just get the forms ready. We're about to make a lot of money.
Mira, I reckon this plan's gonna work. Until I have to drive down there and scrape your ass up with the shovel. Five more runs like this and we're golden. It's, uh, Jimmy, right? Yeah. Good to see you, boss. What's the king moving today? Lower dust. They just re-upped, so the truck's full. You see any muscle? Maybe a dozen guys. A few cars. I'll take it from here. Go see if Chewie needs help. Home with mom. Hey, Chewie, I'm driving home with the king. Oh, yeah. That's Lakeshore money. All those bankers and brokers are gonna make us rich.
Okay, boss. Bring in the king and finish his crew. We gotta lock this place down tight. Dead as a doorman. Ugh. Crown now, King. You've reached Shady Oaks Medical Clinic. We are unable to take your call right now, but... Eh, I'll tell her about it later.
they know every passion. I need these wheels. A homemade explosive device detonated on a yacht anchored near Marina del La. Shady Oaks. Demira, I'm gonna take another hit for the team. How are you not dead yet? Don't know. Just lucky, I guess. The Saints should go camping in the desert. To disrupt the market, we gotta be proactive. With this startup incubator, we'll turn ideas into IPOs. This house has everything our inventors need to build the future. And guess who I got to run this ship? Chloe fucking Morris. <laughs> Man, if you haven't seen her talk, you haven't lived. Her last venture went down hard, so she's hungry for a win. Howdy, Chloe. How we doing here? Good. Our first product just entered Alpha. When can I see it? Today, if you want to help with testing. Do I need a helmet? Nah, you're good. Just head on over to the field lab. I'll send you the location.
man. Call me later, all right? Check out this prime real estate. We've got a Max, Sunstroke Video, the grocery store, and in the middle of it all, our very own laundromat. Sure, we wash clothes here, but we also offer full-service crime scene cleanup. You know, for people who don't want to go to jail. <laughs> Winston here's the best. When I first moved into our old place, he cleaned all the bloodstains out of that carpet. He is a master. Hey, Winston. You got everything you need? Sure do, boss. We got disinfectants, solvents, three kinds of acid, anything you might need to make a crime look like it never happened. Hot dang. How about the crew? They're a little green around the horns, but they know what to do. Well, if things get complicated, I'm just a phone call away. Thanks, boss. Appreciate it. Money from the Saints is gonna set me up for life. Now, legit repo companies won't touch a job that's too risky or shady or weird. But we're not afraid to get our hands dirty. We don't need contracts or documentation. If a customer wants it back, we get it back. Cash up front, no questions asked. My friend Amanda just lost her bounty hunter license, and she's really good at finding things that don't want to be found. She's also a total badass, so be nice. Amanda, where's your crew? They're all out on repo jobs. Got so many orders coming in, we can't keep up. Then why don't you send some my way? I'll take care of them. Sure. If you don't mind getting your hands dirty, you can use that tow truck over there. Now, where should I start? I'll send you the addresses. Just, you know, give me a call whenever you grab the goods. Shady Oaks for shady folks. Oh, that's catchy. And true. Oh, hi, boss. Can I take off this doctor costume? It's got blood all over it. Hey, we need a doctor. It's a medical clinic. But I'm not a doctor. You don't have to be a doctor. Just look the part. Ha! <laughs> I'm out of 
Shady Oaks. I have a good feeling about this here location. People drive like lunatics. You know, boss, you could just take the day off and let me handle this. Nah, that feels like cheating. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Shady Oaks, Tamira speaking. You ready with the paperwork? I'm about to have an accident. Oh, that sounded wrong. Don't make a mess.
for all those times you played in traffic. I seriously did not think that that plan of yours would work. See? Simple and painless. How about you stop by the clinic next time you're in the neighborhood? Near Marina del Lago, resulting in a fire that sank. I don't like that shit. Hey, welcome back. You look pretty good for someone who got run over like a hundred times. Partner, you gotta help me. The cops are on my ass. JR, calm down. Where are you? On the move. God, I think it's that Purple Shirt Mafia Task Force. Those fucking clowns? Shit. I'll get Kev and we'll figure something out. Kev, we gotta go. That police task force is going after JR. They linked him to us? I thought they were a bunch of morons. So did I. They couldn't even get our name right. JR, I got Kev. Where you at? Just outside the Lancelot Casino. We're on our way. Hurry! Lancelot Casino? Is that the place with the mead and meat and meat? Yeah, I think so. I hear their turkey legs are amazing. We should check it out when things calm down. There's JR. The cops have him surrounded. Oh, you're doing Do it again. You're messing with the big dogs now. That's a 243 right there. Thanks. I thought I was going to jail for sure. What happened? How did they connect you to us? All I know is they came to the shop with a warrant for me and my records, signed by the chief of police herself. I dipped out the back and called you. Fuck, so they have your records? That could sink us. Don't worry, I don't keep my records in the shop. Shit, more cops! This stranger is innocent!
Dead as a doornail. Lay off this man I have never met. JR, where do you keep your records? We can't let the task force find him. A place called Happy Cat Self Storage, over in the flats. All right, I'll go destroy everything linking you to the Saints. Kev, you keep JR safe. Got it. Fuck, the task force is already here. I just hope I can burn all JR's files before the cops find them. It's the head of Purple Shirt. They deserve that. One carton down. Find it all before the cops do. First, filings halfway there. Oh, down for the count. Damn task force getting up in our business. Almost done. I gotta race these assholes to the evidence. There, that was everything. JR's records are nothing but ash. Guys, took care of the evidence. You really saved my hiding. No prop. Oh, shit. The cops are here in force. Fuck. Fucked up file system. Chief of police seems to have a real burr up her butt about us. What do we do? We gonna need to lie low? We keep building our empire. When we're ready, we'll deal with her. And her fucking task force. Well, then your ass is lying, too. What's good? I'm totally rocking this getup. Man, 
I don't even know where to start with cutting edge. We don't just make clothes, we make clothes out of stuff they never made clothes out of before. Just have Edith explain it to you. The fashionistas won't work with her no more because her stuff's so freaking weird. But, you know, we got a thing. Hey, Edith, you need anything? Always. Now listen carefully. What I see in my mind's eye inspires my work, but the mind cannot render detail, color, or texture. That's why I must have you. Uh, have me what, exactly? Find the thing I picture in my mind, then capture its essence in a photograph. But I'm not a mind reader. Don't be absurd. I've shared with you my vision journal. The rest is up to you. Okay, but this better be worth it. Oh, I may infuriate, but I never disappoint. I hate it when things are too quiet. Hi, boss. I could go all day! Where's the next job for the Saints? I was thinking, if we're gonna run a criminal empire, why not get into arms trafficking? I mean, we need all those weapons anyway, so let's buy in bulk and move the product ourselves. If Los Panteros can do it, why can't we? So, I got Sergeant Vicario to come work for us. She was in the guard and knows all the suppliers and buyers. She'll hook us up. How's her inventory? We're armed to the teeth, but supply's easy. Demand's where we gotta bring our A-game. It's buyer's market, huh? Everyone and their grandma's running guns these days. We need a killer pitch. Leave that to me. I'll blow stuff up, show off our merchandise. We can stream it live to our customers. <laughs> now you're talking. Nina tells me no one can blow up shit better than you. I'll call you when I'm ready. Cavanaugh County, we're coming at you live all the way from Cactus World Headquarters in beautiful Santo Eliso. That's right, you're listening to KAKTS, dominating the airwaves with 9 million gigawatts of pure pistol packing radio power. It's me, Jack, the Cactus King, sovereign of the Saguaro Prince of the Prickly Pear, humbly at your service. Come on over and say hello. Hey, what can I do for you? Just checking in. Making sure Jack ain't up to his old tricks, huh? Old tricks? Interference with cell transmissions. That's what it says on my rap sheet. You can do that? Sure. Got everything I need right here. So if I'm in a fight and someone calls for backup, you can block the call? Ah, it's only a federal offense. Then shit, let's do it. Huh? hold on. You gotta map the cell towers first. Figure out which calls are going where. Okay. Uh, but how? Well, say you wanna fuck with the idols. First thing you're gonna do is call them up and call them out. Make them come at you hard. So when they call for backup, you trace the call? Exactly. Keep the fight up long enough, I can map the whole network. And then what? And then you get up in each tower and plant one of these jammers they'll give you. On the tower? Like, at the top? How do I get up there? I don't know. But up ain't the hard part. It's down that's gonna kill you.
Well, that should just about do it. You found the last truck and we're all full up. So now we go out and find more customers. Nope. We blackmail the ones we already have. Those big greedy corporations have deep pockets. Blackmail? Why? For illegal waste disposal. We have all the evidence we need right here. Oh, yeah. And maybe next time they'll drive their own damn trucks to the dump. This is a must-have. Oh, hey boss! <laughs> Weenie's running their weekly psychedelic special. A big shipment just arrived from Peru. Peru, huh? Who's mine in the store? Weenie's got soldiers all over the east side. So as you pull that trigger, it's gonna be war. I hope you're right. Want some backup? I'm good. You go on home. Ring it on, Weenie. Chalupa Cabra owns this town. Home with Mama. Chewie, I've got Weenie. Coming in hot. Oh, fuck yeah! That gives us the holy side. We're in the money now, boss.
Dog, we did it. Hey, Lou, what's the scoop? Twisty runs the market here in the flats. They deal in soft-serve ice cream and stolen pharmaceuticals. Who's playing defense? Not sure. Whoever they are, keep it quiet. Not for long. Why don't you get out of here? I'm coming for you, Twisty. Chewy, want some ice cream? Oh man, you got twisty? That puts us in the flats. Shopping malls, big box stores, the fucking smelter dome. We got it made. in our lot and finish them off. Gator. 
Twisty's turf is our turf now. Next time, buy your own enchiladas. So that's Sandy, huh? Oh, hey, boss. Where's Kev? Busy. What do you got for me? Sammy runs the northeast part of town. Punta Vista, Marina. They sell club drugs, mostly. High-end synthetics. How's security? You should have brought Kev. Nah, I can handle this. You better go. This is gonna be fun. Dead as a door. Sammy are heading your way. God damn! You know what that means? We've got Monte Vista and Marina del Lago.
boss, we gotta hustle. Park Sammy in the lawn and take out his crew. Home with mom. Sammy's done in this town. That's the last one. Why don't you come on over and we'll talk? This is test 4.37 alpha of product RTP62-8S. So what do I do? Just hop on the board. Now what? Can you move it around? Nope, nothing. Hold on. Now try. Um, it's moving, but not the way I want it to. Wait a minute. Some asshole inverted the controls again. That's more like it. Now try jumping. How's that? Perfect. Now head over to Lakeshore. It works on water? Sure, if it has power. Can it do tricks and flips and stuff? Not yet. The repulsors overload with too much spin. That sounds like a good thing. Well, spin creates a feedback loop. Instead of pushing up off the ground, it slams the board down. Now I'm curious. Let me try doing some tricks. OK, but I warned you. Stabilizers are off. Whoa, that packs a wallet. You could crush a car with this. A car? Yeah. Check this out. I'm gonna blow up some cars. That's not in the test plan, but... All right. Sweet! This thing's a total car crusher. We hadn't considered that use case, but... That's why we run tests. Where did we find this thing, anyhow? Marshall, a former employee who stole the prototype and came to work for us. Lock and load! This gives me an idea. I'm going to the booth. You mean the Marshall building? That's the one. What's the point of stealing from Marshall if they don't know we took it? That's not usually how stealing works. I feel like I'm in the future. You'd be surprised how old this tech is. Oh, yeah? Marshall's toy division released it in 1989. Marshall has a toy division? Had. Some kids got injured, so they took it off the market. Nearly wiped out the whole company. They stopped making toys after that. Poor Atticus. All he ever wanted was to make toys. How does it feel? Wobbly, but I'm getting the hang of it. Watch out for traffic. I'm watching. What do we call this thing? It's a single operator repulsor transit platform. That's terrible. We don't have a brand team yet. Naming shit is hard. Whoa, check out those executive rides. I'm gonna crush them up. Just keep an eye out for security. They're not gonna like this. These cars are seven figures. Ah! 
I think that one belonged to the CFO. You're about to heat up. All right, just one more. Damn All right, it. I've had my fun. Time to hit the road. I think Marshall wants their board back. Well, it's our board now. Don't worry. They won't catch me. I think I lost him. Well, that's a relief. Good test. I'm totally keeping this board, you know. Hey, you're the boss. We've got another product for you to test. I'll send you the location. Right now? This is test 71.8 alpha of product QA99-5, mode S. So, what are we testing? Something that lets you shoot through walls. Like a rail gun. More like a rail window. We call it the quantum aperture. We really need that brand team. We'll present a series of live targets. They'll deploy the aperture and shoot them. We'll start with this transparent barrier. So good, I surprised myself. All right, got them all. Recalibrating for stage two. Uh, are these fellas gonna be okay? Oh yeah, they're fine. The aperture's in safety mode. I don't know. They're very convincing. Well, most of our testers are theater majors. Ah. Uh, stage two is a metallic barrier. Whenever you're ready. Got them all. Good. Recalibrating. Did we steal this from Marshall, too? We sure did. They scuttled the project last month, so the lead engineer hope it's up to us. We're making it happen. All right. Stage three is the smoke test. Ah! Down for the count. Now, how would this thing do in a real fight? I don't know. We haven't run a field test yet. No time like the present. Well... Marshall is running a combat exercise in the depot across the street. Perfect. So how do you want to do this? Turn off safety mode. Let's show them our new gun. Safety's off. Happy hunting. Just stayed home with Mama. Doing in there. Still a 
alive. And the aperture? Huge success. Good. Try and make me note here. This was a trial. Marshall might complicate future testing. Don't worry, I can handle Marshall. Keep that model with you, just in case. We set up another field lab down in... This is test 42.1 Alpha of product HE17-5DI. What is this, some kind of football? It's a high explosive device with adhesive target interface and kinetically triggered rocket propulsion system on ignition delay. So not a football van. First, we'll test the adhesive target interface. Touch each tester with the device. We'll see if it sticks. Definitely not a football. We call it the thrust buster. Are they gonna be okay? Our QA testers are professionals. There's nothing they can't handle. That's badass. Please continue. Okay, got them all. What's next? Next, we'll test the kinetically triggered rocket propulsion system. This time, you'll throw the device at each tester. I've got a pretty good arm. Balancing the projector so it can be deployed at range is one of the harder problems we've had to solve. But I think we're close. I really should have been a quarterback. So what would this do to something bigger, like a car? That would be stage three. Marshall's on their way. Is there any tech we didn't steal from Marshall? Sure, but it's all in pre-pro. Then how about another field test? Let's do it. Telemetry is live. <laughs> Fail off, right? Was this another canceled project? Yeah. Marshall couldn't get it to fly straight. That's not a bug, it's a feature. Sometimes, innovation's about seeing what's right in front of you.
My arm's getting tired. Stay in the game. You're first and goal. Data yet? Yeah, we're good. Mind if I keep this? Hey, you earned it. Thanks again. That's our last test for now. Stop by the incubator when you get a chance. Looks like your testing put us ahead of schedule, and Marshall might have shut us down if it weren't for you. Let me know if they give you any more trouble. I'm digging this. I just got word. The police chief and her task force are making another move. They're trying to get a search warrant for the church. Church? Fuck that. It's time to put an end to this task force. The police chief doesn't have the warrant yet, so we still have time to stop her. You got a plan? Yeah. I reckon we'll have a little chat and convince her to drop the investigation. And by convince her, you mean scare the shit out of her, right? You betcha. We're gonna borrow Hawk's helicopter for this one. Do a little good cop, bad cop? Sure. Got a preference? Wait, you're letting me choose? I chose last time, remember? Oh, on the skeezy pizzeria job. Right, right, right. Is it weird that I want to be the bad cop? Why is it weird to want the fun role? It's kind of your thing. Do it, Eli. Be the heel. Yes! All that practice in the mirror is about to pay off. Always takes a smoke break in the car. So if you find the car, you find her. Really? He smokes that much? It's actually quite alarming. Are you worried about her health? No, her finances. Seven bucks a pack? Twice a day? I mean, that's over five grand a year. If she'd invested that instead of setting it on fire and sucking it in her lungs, you know. You are a different kind of cat, Eli. Here's her car. Bingo! What the holy fuck? Howdy, Chief Michaels. We need to talk. We're here to make you drop your investigation of the sex. Who? The Purple Shirt Mafia. Fuck you. I don't bow to criminal threats. Will you bow to criminal acts? Knock around! Woo! down when we drop you from 10,000 feet. Hey, good cop. Shit, right, sorry. Christ! You kill me, the FBI comes in and eats you for 
lunch. You ready for that kind of heat? Heat? You want heat? bad cop. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, my first thought was to just black her about the stolen antiquities. She's been laundering through a hobby store with the bent arrows. Then I was like, increase the darkness in life. You know about that? Fuck! Why didn't you start there? I would have caved immediately. Really? Huh. Good to know for next time. You purple shirts are a bunch of monsters! All right, good talk. Just gonna drop you here. The top of Panther Rock? How the fuck am I gonna get down? Eh, hey, you'll figure it out. Whew. Glad to have that task force off our back. We really dodged the bullet. Eli, you don't have to dodge bullets when you're covered in Kevlar. Are you telling me you were never worried about them? Ever? No, I'm saying I should get full body armor. Like, full. Eyes, face, butthole, whole shebang. Let's just get back to building our criminal empire. Without interference. Sure thing. Sky's the limit now, buddy. They're out of strawberry gum, and the grape flavor sucks. We got lots of new recruits, but most of them can't fight for shit. With First Strike, we'll train an army of stone-cold badass saints. Then, we muscle into the protection business. But you'll need to do the heavy lifting till we get there. The sensei worked for Los Panteros till he and Sergio had a falling out. But their loss is our gain. Go say hi. Arrival Dojo runs protection in Santo Ileso. They call themselves the Final Fist. Final Fist, huh? How do we find them? The dojo is well hidden, but they have four wealthy patrons. They pay Final Fist, and in return, the dojo protects them. So we convince the patrons to back us instead. We get paid, Final Fist is finished. Our students lack the discipline to fight them. They need more training. You handle the training. I'll deal with Final Fist. Attention next time and you'll learn something. I should take up smoking again. Let's pretend's got everything we need to throw the ultimate party. Costumes, masks, and a shit ton of crate paper. You know what else you can do with a mask? That's right, armed robbery. So, let's put our inventory to work for us. Now here's my butt, Joni Utah. She and her crew got talent, but they're green. They need a mentor. Someone to show them the ropes. Like you. Hey, Joni, how's our crew? Good. 
Just about ready for the first job. Who made the team? I've got Ronnie on security, Dickie's on safe. I handle crowd control. Anyone on getaway? No one yet. Our driver's in the hospital, so we need a sub. I'll fill in for now. What else? Ronnie says we need more recon. Then how about I have a look at the target? I'll send you photos. Thanks. That should make Ronnie happy. What's good? Man, call me later, all right? Wonder what's next for us? Planet Saint sells our very own line of designer clothes and accessories. We're building a brand so people can look and smell just like us. Now, running this kind of operation is complicated because merch doesn't just magically appear on the shelves. It's all about logistics. That's why I hired Spike, my B-school buddy. He's a dapper motherfucker and knows all the ins and outs. He'll tell you what's up. Right now, as we speak, there's a cargo ship docked in the port of Chihuahua. So? So. All our merch is on that boat. But the store's full. Not for long. And that boat ain't gonna be here for another three weeks. So we need inventory. Yeah, if we want to stay in business. What about Bianca Columba? She ain't gonna work for us. She doesn't have to. Her clothes do. Oh, I see where you're going. Her trucks are running all over town. All I gotta do is steal them. Then we sell our threads up here in the store. Just until our boat comes in. Hey, where are you? Big party's getting started. I cannot kick it off without you. Hell's bells, I lost track of time. On my way, I wouldn't miss it for the world. You sure you're at the right party? This is a celebration for the Saints, is it not? We got a party going on, so I'm gonna keep this one short and sweet. Fuck the Panteros, fuck the Idols, fuck Marshall. The Saints are here to stay, baby! We built this... together. Thanks for getting shot, Eli. Should we go in? You guys go. I just want to take a minute out here. Heard there's a party. Hey, it's good to see you, man. I've been thinking a lot about what you said. About the Saints. I've been alone for a long time. I always viewed friends as a liability, a weakness. But I was wrong. Seeing you with Kev, Nina, Eli, they really make you stronger. Yeah, they really do. I want to know what that feels like. Well, let's go. Oh. <coughs> Why? Well, because I cannot live your life if you are still breathing. <coughs> Look, you have a lot of heart, but let's face it. I'm just a, a better version of you. You could not even protect yourself. How would you ever protect your friends if someone like me came along? Huh? This is for the best. Do not worry. I'll keep our friends safe. Oh, where am I? 
Snickerdoodle? Let's get our boys back home. Hey, Nina's car. Boy, it was a beaut. My family's so far away, you know? It feels like I'm keeping part of them with me. We built this together. Dinner and a show, baby. Eli's whiteboard. I feel like there's a lot we're missing. There is, but it's enough to go on for now. Try to keep up this time. Waffle iron. Did we ever get that for Kev? I can't remember. Oh, thanks for the rescue. Really owe you one. Forget it, man. We're family. What is it? I can't remember. I'm supposed to do something. You're right. I am late. I just can't remember for what. All right. Game night. Meet your friends at the petting zoo. I'm here, guys. Sorry I'm late. No worries. We started without you. Hurry up if you want in. Hey, glad you made it. You've got some catching up to do, but you might still win if you collect three more bears. And I can help you with that. If you give me seven measly little llamas, I will give to you this extremely valuable bear. Seven to one? That's highway robbery. But I'm in. I take delivery of seven llamas and present to you one bear. Thanks, man. My bear's gonna ride your llamas roughshod. Game ain't over. It's Nina's turn. Welcome to the party. Glad to be here. How can I help you? I've got almost a full collection of elephants, but the baby ran away. Got a second bear for you if you can find it for me. One baby elephant coming up. Snakes? I didn't know we were playing with the snake expansion. Don't blame us. You're the one who bought it. Did the tiny little elephant outrun you? Okay. Come here, elephant. Come on now. There we go. Don't run. It's okay. Pleasure doing business with you. Okay, Kev, your turn. Hey, buddy. Hey, yourself. What can I do for you? I'm playing a snail strategy tonight. Find me three snails, and I will give you this bear I just happen to have in my hand. Last bear for the win. Wait, where did all the snails go? They're hiding, but come on. You can outsmart snails, can't you? One snail. Damn snakes. Hey, nobody made you buy the expansion. Two snails. God 
damn it, snakes keep getting in the way. What? Oh, they are coming from the bar. That's weird. Yeah, I should go in there and root them out. Forget about the stupid old barn. Stay here and play with us. Last bear for the win. I don't know. Snickerdoodle's right. I gotta go in there and deal with the snakes. Howdy, Snickerdoodle. You should have known better than to play with snakes. Help me! Somebody help! Eli, I'm coming. <laughs> it's, it's okay. I'm here. If you'd been there at the idols party, I wouldn't have gotten shot. Eli. Where are you? You let your friends get hurt because you were wallowing in your own self-pity. What kind of friend does that? Hello? Can you hear me? I could use some help here. Nina! I've already... Nina, I've got your back. You? You couldn't even kill Sergio. The Nawali had to do it for you. I... You talk a good game when you're safe at home. But when it matters, you let your friends down. <laughs> you do not have what it takes. When the real bad guys show up to play, you come up snake eyes. Anybody there? I'm here. Kevin, I'm here. Kev? I wasn't calling you. Don't you get it? You're just not a good enough friend. No. You're already dead! You can't do anything right. You ruin everything. That's why you needed me. Now you're dead, and everything you built is mine. Your friends are mine, your empire is mine. The saints are all mine. Like hell they are. Nina! Kev! Eli! 
Anybody! You have three new messages. Hey, it's Kev. Where are you at? The crepe paper's up, the music's pounding, the party's starting. Where did you go? Antonio's still waiting to talk to you. Dude's sitting here with a big briefcase of money. Let's not leave that on the table, huh? Where the fuck are you? The Nawali's gone crazy. He's shooting. Hi, Nina. You will not be needing your phone any longer. Oh, God. Everything smells amazing, Kev. Uh, you know what would make it smell even better? Let me guess. Pancakes. You know it. Hey, look who's home. How was your day? <sighs> Not bad. I got some blood on my favorite shirt. <laughs> Sounds like you could use some champagne. Hmm. Thanks, Eli. Please, sit. So, what did you all do today? You know what we did. You're upset. You think? I do not like to see you upset. Well, maybe you should have thought of that before. Nina, please. We'll discuss your gratitude later. Hello. Where are they? They're safe. I am coming for you, motherfucker. Good. It'll save me some time. I'm sorry. That threw me off. Uh, okay. <clears throat> we'll try this again with a little more energy. And Kev, be sure to have some club soda ready, eh? I don't want this stain to set. Everything smells amazing, Kev. Guns. I need guns to rescue them. Yeah, okay. I know where to get those. on silent, so leave a message after I drop the beep. Wait for it. Wait for it. Kev, I don't know if you'll... when you'll get this, but... everything's going to be fine. I'm coming to get you, okay? I won't let you down. Hello. You've reached Eli's voicemail. I can't come to the phone right now, but if you'll leave a message, you can trust I'll get back to you within a reasonable time frame. Eli, it's me. You hang in there, okay? You ain't getting hurt this time. I'm on my way. This is Nina. You know what to do. Hey, Nina. I'm coming. I'm gonna kill the bad guy this time. up quick.
Hey, fuck what? Guess where I am. In your house, taking your stuff. <laughs> I'm waiting for you. Let's finish this back where we began it. Finish this where we began it. That's a trap for sure. Fuck, I got no other leads. Guess I'm gonna walk into this trap. Next stop, Silver Gulch. Okay, gotta get psyched. Oh, I know. But only you can decide how you react to adversity. Only you can choose to adapt to the changes that life throws your way. Your friends deserve better. You deserve better. You are more than a cog in a corporate machine. You are not defined by your student debt or your useless degree. You have more agency and power than the world wants you to know. But to realize that power, there's something you need to do. You need to be your own boss of your job, of your happiness, of your life. You don't make $15 an hour, no. You're selling hours of your life away for 15 bucks a piece. So what do I say to the person who wants to get paid what they deserve? Be your own boss. That's right, be your own boss. Now, life, am I right? Life is full of adversity and challenges. But if you want to learn from your mistakes instead of getting punished for someone else's, what are you gonna do? an amazing audience. T-shirts, DVDs, and signed photos are available for purchase in the lobby. Thank you, Stillwater, and good night. Don't worry, guys. I'm coming. You gonna come out and face me, or do I gotta come to you like last time? See you soon. All right, here's the deal. You motherfuckers know where your boss is keeping my friends. So, how about you just tell me, and then I can be on my way. Any takers? I know it's not likely, but, you know, I figure I should do due diligence. It's really in your best interest. I, I only need one of you alive to tell me what I need to know, and the odds of it being you is pretty... You know what? Fuck it, I tried. This fucker to pieces. I'll go around them! You will die in Silver Gulch. I'll stop shooting if somebody talks. Should have stayed home with Mama. You have walked into the Nawali trap. Get behind those. You gonna tell me what I want to know? I'm listening. Tell me where your boss is. You want 
Diamond's Eye in Silver Gulch. <laughs> We will never betray the Nahuali! Impresionante! Cutting them off! My power hiding! Dead as a doornail! I don't have time for this bullshit! You will not live long enough to find your friends! Down oh. for the count! Just tell me where my friends are! Oh, fucking hell. Gotta admit, this ain't a bad trap. You hear me, Nawali? I'm coming for you and my friends. Okay, asshole. I'm here, where we started. Come out and face me. I said, come out and face! You're not even here, are you? Motherfucker. Come on, come on, work! Biometrics not recognized. Biometrics recognized. Welcome, employee 92245. Huh. Guess this old Marshal stuff still has me in the database. Bet you I can make him talk now. Smaller than I remembered. Hey! Offer's still good. Tell me where the Nawali is, and I won't kill you. Rest of you doggies, fair game. Ah! The killing will continue until somebody talks. Come on, guys, this is running low on ammo. Somebody's got a blab. Ah. Ain't nobody gonna talk? Oh, oh. So good, I surprised myself. Any takers? How about you? Down for the count. Ah, balls. Did I kill them all again? Oh, good. There's more. Holy shit, there's more. I'm not gonna stop without answers. Secret dies with you? Okay, that's what you want. You want some love too? Knocking him down. I guess you didn't want to tell me. How about you? I'll go around them. I'm so good, I surprised myself. Dude, I've had a long fucking day. Can we, uh, can we please be reasonable people? I can. You're gonna say you can't tell me because the Nawali will kill you, then I'll say, if you don't tell me, I'll kill you. And we're just gonna be right back to where we started, so let's just skip that part. No, I was gonna say I can put the address in your phone. Oh, uh, yeah, no. <clears throat> That'd be super helpful.
You mind unlocking it? Whoops, sorry about that. Um, You're a fucking maniac. Well, you know, I have a lot of practice and pent-up rage. I hear that. Parents? Alimony. Ah. Anyway, secret bunker address is in there. Thanks, man. I'm George, by the way. You're an all right guy, George. When you wake up, you should stop by the church. The saints could use a guy with some common sense. Oh! Now, let's see if my biometrics still work on this VTOL. There you are. Rocket launchers. Keep. Down for the kill. Enjoy the afterlife. It's a fucking... I've got a fucking VTOL, dumbass. You can't even slow me down. And done. Now for the inst- How long are we gonna play house for this nut job? Hey, look, as long as he's happy, we're not dead. We just need to figure out a way to escape. Maybe I could poison his food? He makes you eat whatever you cook for him. I can take one for the team. Don't be crazy. What if we try- Holy shit, are we mic'd? No. This is something else. I want them secured. What's going on? It's for your own safety. It's our roommate, isn't it? They're here to save- uh, uh, Save you? Is that what you- Eli, I'm sorry I hit you. There's a lot going on right now, and I got upset. Everything's going to be fine. Don't worry, guys. I'm coming. Nina, Kev, Eli. You need not worry over their safety. They are with me now. Alas, you will not survive long enough to see this for yourself. I'm coming to end you, asshole. Just gotta do this first. Oh, Nina, we are happy here. <laughs> 
They have already forgotten. We've got you stayed home with Mama. I crawled out of my grave to send you to yours. They deserve that. One step at a time. No one will see me coming. Do not worry, my friends. Things are going back to the way they were. You guys okay? We're fine. Why is Kev wearing a shirt? Oh, it's a long... Look out! <laughs> don't you see? You were never meant to protect them! You don't get it. They don't need my help. I need theirs. <laughs> You're fucked now, buddy. Y'all okay? Feel good now. I'll be better when I get this stupid shirt on. Oh! <laughs> myself. Surprise myself. Oh. Getting behind cover. Oh. Oh. Where are you hiding? Ah. How could you turn? They deserve ah. this. Eh? After oh. everything I did for them. Ah. Oh, 
no, the door, no! Oh, hell no. Damn. Get back here, you coward! Okay. Ah! Ah! Fucking face me! Knock him down. Don't worry. We can handle the small fries. You go kill the shit out of that asshole. You got this. Right. I got this. You're taking the elevator? Come on, face me! <laughs> Just knock them out. do this. Predictable as always, bringing a gun to a helicopter fight. It will be the last poor decision you make. You have nothing to say in reply? I'm done talking. First you, then your deceitful friends. <laughs> Out of here. Stop him. Uh. Oh. Should have stayed home with Mama. Uh. Surprise myself.
You ruined everything. You guys should come up here. It's a hell of a view. Mortal terror aside, today was a good day. Yes, sir, it was. I'm really sorry, guys. About what? You saved our ass. It was also my idea to get the Nawali's help in the first place. No one could have predicted that much crazy. Bad hires happen. It's okay. No. If anything happened to you guys, I... Hey, we love you. <sighs> I love you guys, too. That's because we're fucking awesome. Here, here. You know, the Saints have only been around for like a minute, and we've already gained and defeated a nemesis. Not a bad start. No. <laughs> Not bad at all. We see some action today. Damn, nothing says we've arrived like a giant purple skyscraper. Stairs are great for leg day, but the elevator's faster. It'll take us all the way to the top. You got everything you need up here to change your clothes, your loadout, even your face. This place is nice. Whoa, check out the helipad. I dare you to wingsuit off that. You know, when you get tired of all your helicopters and gunships. And for day to day ops, we hired Vivian. She's run high rises all over the world Hong Kong, London, even the Marshall Building. Fuck Marshall. It's our turn now. We can see our whole empire from up here. Santo Ileso is ours. Congratulations. Thanks, Viv. You've built your empire. Now what? Now? We celebrate. And this time I ain't getting murdered. Shall I make the arrangements? Nah, I got it covered. We're having it down at the church. Where it all started. Sure. And the carpet's here brand new, so, uh, you know. I appreciate that. Hey, you should come. But don't tell Eli Kevernina. It's a surprise. Of course. We're going out for a drive now. I'll catch you later. How's it going, Bob? Hey, we've seen a lot lately. Done a lot lately. Hard to believe there's much of anything left to do.
just basic economics. I hate 